How about E5? I'll take that as a hit. Boom, son, I knew that was gonna get you. Seriously? Board games have always been a staple in the Robertson household. I bet your favorite movie's Titanic, isn't it? E10. Not even close. Nowadays, though, depending on what we play, it can be pretty hit or miss. G5. Stop. Hit. Boom. That just happened, dude. It's still floating. It's just on fire. That just happened. Right now, I'm about to get a big hit. B10. Miss. D7. Miss. B4. Miss. F2. Miss. C. Miss. Right in Jep's mouth. Stupidest game ever invented. I would say that, too, if I was losing. <laughs> Miss Kay and Phil's anniversary's coming up. Did you realize that? I completely forgot. Dude, how do you have all these kids with all these blanks you've been shooting? Kim Jung Jep, why don't you pipe <laughs> down? <laughs> gotcha. Jep, what do you want to get your mom and dad for their anniversary? What would your dad like? A gun or a knife. That's not an anniversary gift. And it's a big one. Get a combination gun and a knife. Willie, it's a big one. I five. Shoot. Willie. He gone. We need to do something good. Do you know what anniversary it is? A big one. You know what why you do? don't know when it is? Because they didn't really have a wedding. <laughs> yes, they did. No, yeah, they, didn't. I, they didn't. Justice of the peace. There was no wedding. D four. Are you looking at my board? We should give him a wedding. There's some things you only want to do once. Good idea, babe. No, 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 no. That's a trick. That would be so fun. And helping Corey plan a wedding is one of them. Trust me. We knew their vows. Yeah. No, I mean, but no. we'd be like a full-fledged wedding. That's the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. It was your idea. That's not I what I it. said. So I'm about to open up a can of damage control. Got Phil's not going to do it. We'll just have to do a surprise one. No. A surprise wedding. That's a great idea. Another good one, Willie. Good job. It's perfect. That was a statement. That was not an idea. I think it's a great idea. I love it. There's really only one way to convince a Robertson man to do anything. Buy Phil a brisket. He'll be happy. We'll have brisket at the wedding. All you've got to do is make him think it's his idea. Another good idea. Actually, there's two ways, but I save the other one for special occasions. All right, we got to start planning. We Michael need to order cake. No. Dude, I'm telling you, close your eyes, you'd do better. Then we jumped in my car and headed south. That's one of them DEDs. Don't ever do. <laughs> headed to Mexico, baby. Don't go south of the border. <laughs> and look, Jay, look. Jay, what are you doing with your phone? My lovely wife is determined to do a surprise wedding for Phil and Kay. But they're already married. I know. Text messaging between males and females, it's not a fair fight. Since they didn't have a real wedding, she did one of these. You know how they'll do this? Mm. It's just bzzz, bzzz. And while you're thinking of what to say, it's too late. And look, she just keeps sending me text message after text message. What do you think about this? Bzzz. What do you think about that? Bzzz. Look at this. Bzzz. Isn't this cute? Bzzz. I don't care. What do you want from me? There she is. Well, I hope you've got unlimited. I like wood. Why? Chicken banks. <laughs> what about it? Oh. Hey, why are you so sad? I'm not sad. I'm just trying to escape for a few minutes. What are you escaping from? Yeah. My wife on that stinking wedding. <laughs> I told you. You boys are starting to sound kind of whipped over there now. No, we're not whipped. We're just saying. I ain't whipped. Butter is whipped. Cream is whipped. Horses are whipped. <laughs> Willie ain't whipped. <laughs> if anything, Corey is whipped by me. Wait, that came out wrong. Chow. <laughs> Goblin, what is that? That's my whip.
Anyway. It's terrible. They're like, you get the candles. Oh, don't forget the flowers. You got to bring the flowers. Hey, hang on a second. Hang on. Okay. Are y'all playing it? Yeah. Okay. He's getting the flowers. I'm getting the candles. We're going to have a meeting about it. Like, we'll explain everything. I need your credit card, though. Yep. <clears throat> No problem. Thank you. All right, gonna be good. See you in a minute. It's gonna be awesome. Good job. What? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> this boy broke. Oh, it's so pretty out here. I love those trees. I love the way the water is just sparkling. Looks like diamonds, doesn't it, Phil? You betcha. Well, you're not even looking at what I'm telling you to look at. No. I don't know how you can even fish, because it's just so pretty. All I want to do is look at everything. Oh, yeah. Miss Kay loves to hang around me at all times. What kind of tree is this, Phil? I'm telling you. The only place I'm away from my woman is when I'm in the woods. It looks like a real fern right there. I never saw a tree that looked like that. But in my case, you have to go rather deep in the woods. You know what tomorrow is, don't you? Tuesday, maybe? No. Wednesday? No, not a day of the week. President's Day or something? No. Maybe my birthday? No. Future's behind us. It's our anniversary. Anniversary. Oh. Over the years, I've come to accept that Phil's just not good about dates, unless it's duck season, Christmas, or Easter. That he remembers. How many years we've been together? You don't even know guessing, do you? I know you? it's been a while. Uh, maybe like 48 years. On the bright side, I could just tell him it's our anniversary every few months. I actually did it last year with my birthday. He never knew the difference. Two presents. Miss Kay, you want to know something? What? Y you are my best buddy. Not one dull moment, I tell you that. 48 years. Hmm. Well, quit talking about it like you've been in prison or something. OK, I printed all this stuff out because I was worried we'd forget something. We haven't done a wedding in a long time. Oh, the food, that's a look at here, look at here. Hey, guys. Y'all done? We have got a plan. <laughs> what? Oh, it's like you're playing dress up. What? There's nothing more adorable than the girls playing office. You're going to be playing dress up, buddy. <laughs> What'd you say? I missed that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, they'd never handled a multi-billion dollar acquisition. Technically, neither have I. But the point is, CEOs don't take orders, they give them. Well, don't miss this. We need all of y'all to help. We've got to really... Hey, look, let the CEO take over. Here's uh, the deal. Hey, Here's hey, what hey, we're hey, do. Mr. CEO, we got this. Have a seat. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> 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 Chaw? That's my whip sound. <laughs> That's the worst Chaw. whip sound I've ever heard. So here's anyway. the deal. Tomorrow, everybody's got to show up, ready to work. Sa, pay attention. This is going to be really important and sentimental and romantic. When is it? Martin, tomorrow. It's a big one. This seriously feels like teaching a kindergarten class. <laughs> they can't sit still. Some of this? Hmm? They were not listening. Hey, you could have got my nipple with that. They're always asking about nap time. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just Sai. Uh, but the rest of them are bad, too. It's going to be great, but we need everybody's help. All right? Everybody's in? Everybody? Nod? Yes? Thank you, Jeff. We have one person in. We have become workhorses for a wedding that we don't even want to take place. Now, I know Dad's not going to like it, but Mom's going to love it. Exactly. Oh, Will you shut up? And now, my own brother has gone turncoat. This is a disaster. We'll have your tuxes and everything there. Do what? So bring, yeah, your suits. Tux? <laughs> no, wait a minute, hold it. Y'all going too far now. What? Uh, OK, you can't put a lipstick on the pig and make her look right, OK? Sa, I'm glad you spoke up, because we need you the most. You're like the most integral part of this entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is doomed. You made Sa si the centerpiece of this plan? Maid of honor. Oh, hey, I'm glad I got my pearls. <laughs> I don't even think Cy knows what integral means. Cy is actually the best option we have. If you're asking me, hey, cheese has no business being on a turkey sandwich. The wedding is going to be at Phil and Kay's house. Cy's the only one that can get Phil and Kay out of the house. You are the distraction. Take right. military operation. <laughs>
We have a recipe for disaster here. So that's gonna be fine. Hey, look here, I mean it, okay? Cheese is for, you know, rats, and I ain't a rat. Do not come back until 5 o'clock, all right? The all day. day long? Yes. All day long. <laughs> Sal's never worked till 5 o'clock a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Something makes me nervous about this. All day long? Good grief. All right, Sai, you're going to call, okay, and you're going to say, I want to do something for you tomorrow. I want to take you on a trip down memory lane, maybe. You just, you got to get them out of the house. Whatever you do, do not tell them what we're doing. All right. Think you can handle that? Hey, it's a piece of cake. Hey, look, y'all forgot? Hey, I survived now, okay? Hey, Sai. What you need? Hey. What do y'all got planned for tomorrow? We really didn't have any plans. One little phone call? Hey, it's a piece of cake. Hey, look, we got a big surprise for you. A surprise? Hey, right, so long as it's chocolate. Don't break out no vanilla. I love surprises. <clears throat> Got to spit on your hook. That's the secret. Phil, hush. What are we gonna do? It's our special oh, day. <clears throat> what is that? We're about five minutes into this, and Sai starts to spill the beans. I got, I, I want to go out. And I have to admit. Well, I'm gonna take you out. Look here, they got a good ice cream place that just opened up up here. <laughs> huh? I'm stunned that the man lasted that long. Phil loves ice cream. <laughs> Tell him I don't do ice cream cookies. What are y'all doing? I can't talk to her and talk to y'all at the same time. <laughs> say what? Hey, I've got the whole thing under control, all right? What'd you say? If I hadn't let on the K that there might be something going on. One more time? Hey, the first thing she'd have thought was there was something going on. Side, you say something? Hey, I've got her right where I want her. Just tell her. Okay. Hey, no, I'll you pick ready. you and Phil up in the morning. <laughs> What'd you say? In your regular voice. Hey, I'll pick y'all up in the morning. Okay. Hey, that's perfect. Now you're gonna have to put the up. I can barely hear you. Hey, bye. What? Hey, and wear a necklace. Dad, you say. All right. Oh, man. Right. That went swimmingly. If the ice cream thing doesn't work, just kidnap them, Sal. <laughs> Bring a weapon and some rope. Are you fired up or what? Let me get this right. My little brother, Silas Robertson, yep. naked up to the time he was six years old, offered to take us somewhere on our anniversary day? He did. And we're actually going to do this? Yeah, he said ice cream. Won't that be fun? He ran naked until he was six years I old. I know. Supposedly, Si going to put us on an ice cream run, you know? <laughs> That's pretty well you done run out of something to do. Is that what it is, ice cream party? Yeah. Boy, I am fired up about that. That's, that's post-retirement. That's almost the beginning stages of dementia, probably. It's our anniversary today. Yep. Be happy, happy, happy. Oh, I'm happy, happy, happy. Don't doubt that. You ever might ought to swing by the clinic. It's about time. Speaking of the ice cream, man. Hey, sorry I'm late. I almost run out of gas. Ran out of gas. Hey, it takes time to fill up. Well, I'm glad you got gas. No, I didn't get gas. Oh, uh, you went by BJ's. There's a gas station. Pumps outside, you know? No, I didn't want to be late, so I went by there. Well, that don't make sense. Why wouldn't you stop and get gas? Because I didn't want to be late. But you are late. Yeah. What? Silas Robertson, he's the logic vacuum. I had to drive slow because the faster you drive, the more gas you drink. The faster you drive? When you drive fast, it drinks more gas. It does? I'm late, I'm out of gas, but so I won't be late, I won't get gas. Any logic to be found, he'll suck it up. Hey, look, I'm gonna take you on a little trip. If you're gonna be a chauffeur, you need to gas up. It's just like old time. We're gonna take her rig. <laughs> Y'all ready to go? All right, look here, being the distractor. It ain't an easy job. All right, fact is, hey, it would be easier to be decorating. I love surprises. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. But hey, you picked the right man for the job. Hey, I am the master distractor. Sal Robertson's grand memory tour is fixing to be on the road. What's that over there? Still got it. This a memory 
you'll never forget. Good night. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be fun. This is beautiful. It's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. We'll have the river in the background. Yep. It's a dream wedding right here. I think we should have like lights hanging. We'll do those in those trees right over there. Let's do the reception area over here. Okay. You want the definition of cruel and unusual punishment? You want to have uh, that river in the background beautiful. right there. And the sun will be setting back yes. there. To, yeah. Are y'all done with us? Are we finished? No. Are y'all going? He's hanging out on the riverbank while the fish are biting, and I'm stuck setting up for a wedding that's 50 years late. We just want to make sure we're on the same page okay. before we tell okay. you guys what to do. Because do we need to stand here while you're trying to figure that out? Or? I mean, I wouldn't call this work. To me, this is more in line with torture. I say dancing maybe over in this area. Okay. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, that'll be pretty. Jeff, is that your vision for it? Is that what you were thinking? Pretty close, pretty close. I've had a lot of nightmares that started off just like this. Oh, yeah. The peas are here. Hey. Up, hey. Yay. Yay. Here. Yay. Well, they brought in the big guns. Yeah. Hey, Al. What's up, bearded brethren? Hey. For whatever reason, our oldest brother, Alan, got away with never growing a beard. I figured y'all needed a beard wrangler here to whip these boys into shape. Whoops. It may be odd to call a pastor the black sheep of the family, but that's what he is. This is what your wives would like right ah, here. Ah, amen. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do we have to relive <laughs> this every time Al's here? He doesn't have a beard. We have him. What's the big deal? The perfectly shorn black sheep of the Robertsons. We have to bring the pastor in. You've done plenty of weddings, huh, Al? This is my me. bang zone. This is, I'm loving it. Did he just say bang, bang zone? So and you're here to help corral these guys to help us. I spent my whole life corralling. Of course, you see what good it's done. Like, these two are still as much of idiots as they ever were. <laughs> you notice he said you two. Al, you got one that turned out all right, all right? If anyone's ever wondered where Jace and I learned to torture Jeff, Alan taught us everything we know. You did a good job with her. Yep, he's the all daughter right. that never had. All right, let's start unloading. Come on. That smooth-faced man of God has a black belt in purple nurples. Willie, you got to push it this way. Jeff, Don't shut let... up. On three. I'm getting ready. Three. You just all said right. three. You didn't count. Welcome to the main event. Oh, yep, these are So heavy. we're thinking, like, in this area? In this corner, weighing in at a spry 350 pounds, it's Willie Robertson, the boss hall. Oh, it takes y'all 15 minutes to come up with a plan. Why are you sitting down? That's what I've been We're asking. waiting to hear further instruction. Weighing in at a cool buck 45, the bane of bullfrogs, Jace Robertson. Good enough here. Oh, Whoa. Jason, That's right good. And in the third corner, weighing in a combined feathery two... The wives. Back up over that way. No, wait, no. Y'all come over here to the side. You're totally wrong. Pick it up. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. My money's on them, folks. Guys. They're not quite right. You need to come fix them. I'm ready to go fishing. Get back over here. I can't feel my hands. All right, folks. This don't look like no ice cream joint to me. I know, but hey, that's the first surprise. Here's the first stop on memory lane, OK? Say what? Hey, it's a surprise trip down memory lane. I did a little research, OK, and I actually found the house for Phil and Kay first met. That is not where we met. <laughs> it's behind the gas station on Highway 34. This is Debbie Gibson's old home. She introduced y'all to. I've never been in front of that crack house in my life. But hey, look, it's just as romantic, OK? You got to be kidding me. That ain't her house. First of all, Debbie Gibson was not her name. Secondly, me and Miss Kay met on the ball field, Jack. That ain't the way I remember it. Somebody hooked us up, but I don't think her name was Debbie Gibson. I mean, that girl in high school name was... Debbie Myers. No, well, your name nuts. was Debbie Gibson. The only Debbie Gibson I ever heard of. She sang a record one time. When you take a guy who's delusional at 16 years old... Debbie Gibson was the one that introduced y'all to each other. No, throw 40 more years in there. I thought her name was Debbie Gibson. No. Debbie Gibson's house. Uh, Debbie Gibson. There is no Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson. Gibson. See what I'm saying? 
Si, I think maybe you've taken a hard right turn off of memory lane on this one there, son. Y'all's memory is hazy here, OK? Huh. And let's get back on memory lane, Si. Find out where we're going now. All right. Let's go to stop two, then. Is there going to be any ice cream? How'd you get light duty? Because Christmas, I pulled it off. Now I'm light man the rest of my life. I'd rather be fishing. Because look, they've been hitting ever since I've been out here. Willie, you think the lilac should go in the front or in the back? Jeff, I should just slap you for saying that. Guys. I ain't touching them lights. That's your job, son. I need a volunteer. OK. I can't. I got to help JC's lights. Never volunteer for something when you don't know what you're walking into. This is going to be an all-day job. Look at this crap. Haven't you seen the Hunger Games? I can do it, Corey. What do you need? Perfect. Okay. I need you to go to the bakery. This could be the worst task. Did you say bakery? I need him to go to the bakery to pick up the cake. Mm. I know where that's at. I'll go. We'll go. No. Jeff can go. You got to get cupcakes, too. I want cupcakes for the kids. I can do that. Just try them and pick the ones you like. I can do that. Jeff can't do that. No, y'all have to work on lights. Corey, the cake is the most important thing. You That's right. So they're sending somebody important. Jeff's got it. It's a two-man job. I'm a multitasker. You do your lights. Thanks, mm. Jeff. No Thanks, problem. Babe. No problem. Jeff. And that's how it's done, ladies. I'm going to go eat my cupcakes. Oh, I ain't helping those lights. OK, here we go. Here we go down memory lane. Why are we at a fireworks stand? Where's the cream? You don't remember? Yeah, I remember way back when you made an ice cream run. This wasn't always a fireworks stand here. Ice cream was actually involved. What's the fireworks got to do with ice cream? First stop, a dilapidated crack house. Second stop, fireworks stand. Let's go find us some ice cream. I done worked up a thirst here. Boy, you're making me hungry. This is going to be some anniversary. We're not going to forget this one, Miss Kay. Y'all are thinking wrong. Memory lane, OK? Back in the day, there was something else here. Now, they weren't blessed with a memory like me, OK? The chicken shack? Nope. The pizza place? No. A memory is just like an organ, like your spleen, or, hey, maybe your kidney. What about the chicken shack? Not the chicken shack. You got to exercise it every once in a while. Plant coal and sprinkles. The frosty root beer place? No, it wasn't that. Why do you think they call it jogging your memory? Hey, look, think flavor. The chicken shack? Duh. Hey, look here. Friday night's over. The ball game. We won. And she's in her good-looking cheerleader outfit. Football game? All right, football game Friday circle, night. Circle, yep. circle. Yep. The homemade. Ding, ding, ding. The lady is a winner. Give her the big black gorilla. A gorilla? Hey. So what you're saying is we're at the fireworks stand that used to be the homemade 50 yep. years ago. What's our yep. next move? We got any ice cream going with all this or what? No. But hey, look, it's got a sale on. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Firework on sale, boys. I don't think this was quite the special day that Miss Kay was looking for. This wasn't the location of the homemade anyway. Well, he said it was. No. Where are the memories? Hey, look here. Hey, we're days. Si, come out of there. Two things you never do. Never go up and poke a grizzly bear. All right. Or ride with Silas Robertson to a fireworks stand. Here you go, set that in there. It was on sale. Are you kidding me? Look, fireworks scream romance. How many are we seeing? I think eight at the most. Okay. Is this just a big thing for everybody to wipe their mouth on? I think it's a community napkin. Hey, I need y'all to cover for me. What do you mean, cover you? I got a nature calling. You got to take a leak? No, the fish are calling my name. I'm fixing to go catch something. Right now, there are fish jumping everywhere, and I'm stuck here untangling lights. If that woman over there catches you? I'll handle that. If I don't catch a fish soon, I'm liable to stab myself with a salad fork or possibly a dinner fork. I really can't tell the difference. I got to go, too. Where are you going? I got to go, too. I'm going to go catch those fish. Darwin. What are you doing? I got to go, too. 
We're not women. We don't go together. I mean, I'm gonna have to hide it from my wife, but I'm gonna do it. I love it. Thank you. That's gonna be great. Wait, you're not gonna leave it there, are you? Corey, I'm in mid-pool. Okay, no, 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 no. That's way too high. Ooh. Okay, whoa, whoa, stop, stop. That's perfect. That's it? That's perfect. I, I don't know, a little down. A little, a little bit down. Hey, our arbor's here. Our what? Hey! hey. Mountain man? It? Yeah, I got the arbor. Perfect. I can't wait to see it. All we gotta do is kinda put it together. I got the pieces on the truck. Mm -hmm. You haven't actually put it together. Figured I'd get the heavy stuff done here. We're ready. Like, we have got to move fast here. Oh, OK. I got this. Mm -hmm. Was this a Christmas wedding? It, it's tonight. This makes no sense. I get crap all day for not decorating stuff right. And when it comes to building something, they call Mountain Man. You hired him? He said he could do it. He's obviously got a plan. Look. Corey. He's been collecting stuff and everything. He's got but it. Yeah, He's I know. It. It's garbage. He likes it. That'll get her there. Mm -hmm. I'd say three months. He'll have it done. I think I'm gonna go help him. He's the slowest worker in all of West Monroe. Mountain Man, you understand what an arbor is, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like the centerpiece of the entire wedding. Arbor. Mm hmm. Oh, no. on the deal. Well, I hope it's better than the first two. Hey, this one's gonna blow y'all's memories. Inside, your memories are already blown. We made the stop at the abandoned house. No memories there. Are these trees jogging y'all's memories yet? <laughs> no. Off to the fireworks stand. No memories there. What do we do? You know, it would be nice if you went down memory lane to run up on something that you remembered. I can't believe y'all ain't remembering. I'm like an elephant, OK? I remember it all. Y'all should be getting some memories by now. No. This should be looking familiar to you. No. Are these trees jogging your own memories yet? No. Especially this tree right here in particular. It's a nice tree. They bringing anything back to you yet? Look, we came after ice cream. Where is the cream? On to the next treat. Si, you hit a home run on this one. Hush. What do you think, Al? I like the antler, but it's just kind of the crappy way you put it up here. Crappy? Yeah. Hiring mountain men to do anything is risky, so I decided to build a little masterpiece of my own just in case. You think the antler should be bigger? Mm, I don't know, Will. And as usual, those with untrained eyes are having a hard time recognizing my grand vision. I've got bigger antlers. What are you doing? What, what is this, Willie? It's a antler abra. And it's put together with zip ties. You can't even see the zip ties. Look. Zip ties. I'm seeing all of them. It's from the same person who hired Mount Man to build an arbor that looks like he's four years from making. Looks great, Mount Man. You about done? Uh, just a few more minutes and it'll be perfect. This looks a lot better now, doesn't it? No, that still doesn't look good. Whatever you think is good, do exactly the opposite. <laughs> we do not have time for this. I think it needs more bass. The opposite, Willie. I mean, more zip ties, more antlers. Do the opposite. Martin, how many trees have you done already so far? Uh, this is the first one. Wait, what? I okay. don't have any help. Where's Jace? Oh, I haven't seen him in a while. <gasps> no. Mm-hmm. Jason, what in the world? What are you doing? You on your own. What are you doing? Babe, you look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Never underestimate the power of a good old-fashioned compliment. Nice try. Of course, if that doesn't work, you need to have a good excuse as a plan B. 
Look, I'm hung up. I was on my way back, but I got a big fish on here, and he's got me hung up. Come help us. Plan C, bribery. I'll cook you up some fish. Come on, right now. It'll be great. And then circle back to compliments. I love you, babe. You're amazing. Works every time. Whoop. Oh, nice work, Martin. Appreciate the lookout. Well, what about these, these trees? They bringing anything back to you yet? Well, we're on the hunt for a particular tree. Especially this tree right here in particular. No. The problem with the woods is there's a lot of trees. A whole lot. Let me show you what I brought you out here to show you. What is it? I'm just ready to pick one and say, yeah, I remember that old tree right there to get this over with. Surprise! Look, Phil. I can't believe it ain't hit you. Now that, that I remember. K. Caraway PR way back. Good grief. I can't believe it's still there. Seeing that tree just warmed my heart and made me go back to memory lane. What is that? Oh, that be oh, yours oh, truly. Silas Merritt Robertson. Oh, he took hey. our heart and put himself in it. I can't believe Si actually remembered that. Hey, I've been with y'all from the beginning. Because I don't remember him even being there. I guess he's just going to be with us forever. Now, that is romantic. Well, that was good. Yeah, it really was. This is one place that I have been. Al, that's about as girly as I can make this thing. Yeah, I think it did well. Once this is over, I'm going to take all this girly OK, crap. OK, that's getting better. You just got to finish it. You're the only one we're waiting on, so. Uh, what about old Mountain Man? I don't think he's. Mm-hmm. What the crap? How's that look, Willie? I cannot believe it. Not only did Mountain Man finish the arbor on time, but it actually looks like an arbor. You can't even see the zip ties. Somebody helped you. Who helped you? It's amazing what you can do when you think things out a little bit. I love it, Mountain Man. Seriously, I'm wondering how he did it. Is anybody know? All right, Willie, finish up. I got to go get my dress on, and y'all two have to get changed. My man, get over here and help us. Oh, OK. I'll help you cover them zip ties. You can't see the zip ties. I feel like I got an extra layer of skin on. Good grief. I'm really uncomfortable. Let me see your socks going. It's my dress socks. <laughs> Well, I got a white shirt on. Oh, that matches your shirt. Look at that. Well played. Fashion has never been one of the strong suits in the Duck Commander workforce. Look at your oh, top. Good job, Al. They look awesome. Oh, Martin, yours look too snug. And whoever let Corey rent these tuxes all willy-nilly style made a big mistake. Do I have a tag right there or something? Something itching. Yeah, it says slim fit. It says wrong size. Or in Martin's case, an extra small mistake. Willie, your crotch is like at your knees. Uh-oh. Hey, uh-oh. <laughs> what can I say? It's well. maddening buying pants. <laughs> oh, here comes Jeff. You got the cake. Somebody say cake. Hey, babe. Where have you been? I had to get dressed. You look nice. You look like an idiot. <laughs> I'm wearing the same thing you are. But I make it look good. That's the difference. You That's... saw that from me, babe. I've been saying that for 20 years. <laughs> when God was splitting up the talents among the Robertson boys, it's obvious that Jeff got what was left. Luck. Great job, babe. Yep. It looks great. Don't drop it, Jeff. Can I always count on you, Jeff. That's really all he needs. Whatever he does, he gets praise for. Don't drop it, Jeff. Drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Huh. Stop. OK, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Oh, Wouldn't surprise me if he got caught with his finger in the cake and they compliment him for his culinary creativity. That's how it's done, son. It's nauseating. One yeah, cake yeah. delivered. What do y'all think Dad's going to think about all this? Dad's going to pull up and say, y'all go ahead. Just a walk off. Well, somebody's walk gotta off and a thumbs up. Luckily, I'm the best man, so I'll try to get him through it without griping too much. I'm the best man. Why would you think you would be the best man? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Maybe because I'm the CEO. What kind of logic is that? You would go in the order of age. 
He's out because he's officiating. What does A's have to do with it? I've known Phil longer. I've made him more money. I'm his favorite. You're delusional. Here we go, everybody. Hi, Yay. they're here. What in the world is all that? Oh. Whoa. Crap. Surprise. Where's the cream? Oh, man. What in the world happened to my yard? It's a wedding. A wedding? The wedding you've never had. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> For you and Bill. I thought she was already married. <laughs> well, y'all never had a real wedding, so we wanted to give you one. Okay. Oh, trust me, it was legal when I signed the dotted line. <laughs> I got in my marriage with Miss Kay in 15 minutes. You boys want to hear the exact words of the justice of the peace and the reason y'all are on the earth? You know, we got our blood test here. That proves we don't have any venereal diseases. We walked in, and he said, you got good, clean blood. Uh, you want her? I said, yeah. He <laughs> said, give me $15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, am I worth it? Oh, every dime. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's the best $15 I ever borrowed. Are you ready to get all beautiful for your wedding? I can't believe it. I finally get to have the wedding of my dreams and share it with my most favorite people. Dad, you ready to do this thing? Here's the rings. We're going to exchange those. Your best man is going to give you the rings, so. My best man. Let me take them. I'm going to be the best man. We just have to go through the motions of Phil picking so that no one gets their feelings hurt. Well, Al, you're the oldest. He's officiating. He's out. It'll take a few minutes to let the losers down easy before he finally settles on me. Dad, I'm Mom's favorite, and I think it would be important to her if I was the best man. You'd make a much better maid of honor. Whatever. We all know what he's about to say. So my best man will be Silas Robertson. Sa. Si. <laughs> now there's the best man. Well, those words have never been used together. Best man and Sa. Si. Hey, Sa. Si. Yeah. Are what? you sure about this, Phil? <laughs> well, we've been running together since he was naked. Thank goodness he's not naked now. <laughs> nah. Well, Sa, si, your service to the country, and because we've been running together since we were naked as jaybirds. Gross. I have selected you as the best man for my wedding. All right, clearly the best man won. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Here's the rings. Don't lose them rings before the thing starts. Oh, I'm not. Hey, I'm the lord of the rings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get my jacket on and we'll hey, knock this thing out. the man is jacket. All right, don't lose the ring. Oh, I dropped it. Swampy in these clothes. Hey, you nervous? No. Game wardens are the only things that make me nervous. Look, it's okay to be nervous. You're getting married. So I've been with her almost 50 Shh. years. Be quiet, we're starting. Hey, I'm here for you, bro. Well, we did it. Now we're ready for the Robertson wedding of the century. The smell of victory is sweet, boys. Your husband, he stinks. I'm done. Yes, you do. Sweet. Where'd you get this jacket? It's it stinks like B.O. It's not the jacket. <laughs> it's a jacket. It ain't my B.O. That's a different flavor. Mm. Here she comes. I guess dreams really do come true. I feel like I'm living a fairy tale. You may be seated. I have a massive wedgie. Okay. <laughs> Should have worn underwear. Oh, God. Well, we've hauled a lot of fish up this bank. We played baseball under these trees. Si shot a few squirrels out of them as well. We all got baptized in the creek back here behind me. And now here we are, almost 50 years after you two guys got together, uh, having the wedding that you never had, with four generations of Robertsons looking on. I'd say this is the perfect spot. Lord of the Rings. Hey, ain't no big thing. <laughs> well, I don't even know where to start. 
The first thing I'd say is, from the time I was 14 years old, I loved you. And we've been through some good times and some hard times. I loved you when we were poor and you were not so nice. <laughs> now you're really nice and kind. And all I can say about that is, I'm not going anywhere. That's good to know. I will love you forever. Let's see, Ms. K. We've been running together since we were teenagers. The old blue Chevrolet, side in the back. You have cooked me many a good meal. From your loins came four healthy, godly men. You are my best friend, and I love you dearly. And I'm going to be with you for the long haul until they put me in the ground. Good? Perfect. I'm sorry to say I didn't have that when we first married. Oh, it's OK. Our marriage is living proof that love and family can get you through anything. If anyone has any reason why these two cannot continue to be married, I would ask you now, that. Hold up a minute there, preacher. Let me say a few words. Oh, dear. Oh, first of all, oh, this man chose me as his best man, which is only right, OK? I've been with this man all his life, OK? It's almost like we was brothers. You know, <laughs> you know, I was in the back seat when these two right here went out on their first date. Oh, and okay, they still with here's, us. Here's what I wish for y'all, okay? I ask God to bless both of you, okay? Because I love you and I know he does, and that y'all have a happy life together. All right, preacher, marry these two where we can go eat. Thank you, sir. Good speech, sir. So by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you again husband and wife. Dad, you may kiss your bride. Yeehaw! <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, Jack. <laughs> Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this night, and we thank you for the blessing of being in this place. Thank you for Mom and Dad and their commitment to one another and all these years they've served you. Father, we pray continued blessings on our family. Amen. 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 All right, folks, let's get down and party. <laughs> well, I'm talking right. about. <laughs> For a marriage to work, a man needs to do anything and everything in his power to keep his wife happy. For the Robertson boys, that means spending all day long decorating a yard for a surprise wedding that's half a century late. For Phil, it means begrudgingly going along with your family's bonehead ideas for your anniversary. But looking at Kay, I guess it isn't such a bonehead idea after all. And as far as everyone is concerned, it was all mine. Are you going to carry me over the threshold? That's right, honey. <laughs> oh, it's coming down now. Whoa. I don't like this. Good grief. Can we move that bench? It'll float away if we don't. I bet you $100 you can't get up on this thing. Hey, easy, easy. Easy. You know what I'm thinking, Jay? Huh? This is why I left the river. Yeah, this is why I headed north. Where's Willie? Making a mail run. What? It's typical Willie. When the work starts out, he's checking the mail. Um, going down the pants, going down the pants. There's nothing more dangerous or unpredictable than rising floodwaters. I don't know about grabbing this during a lightning storm. Hey! Because Phil and Kay live on the river, their house is in constant danger of being flooded, which is why we are here doing everything possible to keep that from happening. This was always Willie every time we had a flood. We would all be working, uh, On doing the something. peripheral? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You're right. Wait, you lost the oar. Well, except for Willie, uh, who's decided to put all his efforts in retrieving the mail. Got it? Good job, babe. Ah. Job well done. It's a little damp. All right, I'm headed to high ground. All right, I think we got ground. it all. Got all of it? I can't wait to see how important that mail is. It's a little wet, a little wet. I'm sure that water will just buff right out. Yeah.
All right, Mom, I think we got everything done on your list except for the things that totally make no sense, like feed Bobo and give him a bath. <laughs> well, he needs to be clean and relaxed going through a crisis. I mean, think about it. Mom, he lives here. That's not part of the flooding. <laughs> it's just your dog. It hurts my back to bend over too long on the... And the bathtub, so you could do it because you're young and strong. Yeah, but this Got those not meaty hands. Really flood related, okay? I mean, he's not young or strong, by the way. He said, put up birdhouses. That may be difficult. Your entire yard's underwater. But I want the their feeders filled with food. Where's the bird feed then? Right on the list to find it. I think it's somewhere <laughs> in the world. <laughs> put it on the it's list. It's getting longer. Storms can unleash destruction in small towns, but I'm kind of grateful that it brought us together. Did you clean out the car? Okay. You know, I'll have to be able to live in it if I get stuck or something like that. What? Okay. And I want well, I think you can live in it. You got enough stuff in there to live for <laughs> about a right. month. Looks like somebody's already living in there. At times like this, being surrounded by my family makes me realize how lucky I am. I've got all this food. We've got to eat it. We're going to get stuck down here if we stay here, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, we've got to oh, take care of the kids. Great. Mom, all our kids are in town. Yeah. It also makes me realize I need a vacation, preferably somewhere warm and sunny. Remember when y'all were young and we'd always have a big water crisis? And remember when we all had our jobs and things to do? Don't you remember that? Yes. Yeah, but we were eight years old, okay? It's... What? What's that? All our phones oh, went off at no. the same time. This is not good. State of emergency. State of emergency. All right, I'm definitely out of Yeah, we got to go. State of emergency. Everybody cannot move. We got to go, okay? But we're not going anywhere. Some of the roads are closed out this way. Oh, now we get to eat and stay and we can talk about old times. I better call Sadie and tell her. Really? Yay! That went to power. Oh, boy. You know what we should have put on the list, Kay? What? Build an ark. I got my airway. Oh, well, look at this. Houston, we got problems, uh -oh. boys. All right. We got to do something about this, boys. You better get these boxes up off the ground right here. I know there's some buckets over there. We got a new swimming pool. You want me to get some buckets, I guess? Well, we got to get this other mess cleaned what? up. I know. Let me get some buckets. Here you go. With Willie and Jay stuck at Phil and Kay's, that kind of makes me the interim CEO. I'm going to get some buckets. First order of business, make sure the Duck Commander warehouse doesn't flood. Hey, good drum beat going there, boys. Second order of business, making sure the guys protect the merchandise. Here you go. Clean that mess up. We gonna do it with a T-shirt? That's all we got? Hey, I, I like it. Uh, that's not good using the shirts, probably. Uh, oh, it'll be all right. Which is why I guess I'm not CEO. This T-shirts are about full of water. Hey, I ain't believing this. What? I forgot to bring my tea. Look at that. I'm shaking. I got nothing. Hey, I gotta go to the kitchen and make me some tea. I, I can't help you. gotta come. Hey. Can you help us get this water up? No. Yeah. Here, I'll help you with it. What? Here. Put that on. Now, I've helped. I cannot work under these conditions. Let's just wipe it up with sigh. Hey, get you some of that. Yeah, I don't think we should be going through the inventory to clean this up. At some point, them buckets are gonna fill up. Buckets? We just go on the roof and put something to clog the holes, and then we ain't gotta worry about it. What about duct tape? We're duck hunters. That'll work. Yep. All right, boys. Ooh. All right. Let's see. Six minutes. Piece of garbage. I got to find me somewhere else to work. Good grief. Hold the ladder, Gawain. Our daddy. Ed Gummit. Oh. Hey, good grief. Bounce on up there, Slim. All right, hurry up. All right, Godwin, you got this thing? I got it. Huh? Oh, this isn't sketchy at all. You got to dry the spot off real good so that tape will stick. Hurry up, shirt man. Huh? I'm coming. Hurry up. Give me a shirt. You ready? Here. Hey, tell him to dry the spots off good. Huh? Or that tape won't stick. Can you understand what he's saying? Dry it. Ah. Dry it off. Godwin, catch. Oh, good grief. Having Godwin bark orders at me 
is similar to someone coming in the bathroom and looking over your shoulder as you're trying to pee. It makes it way harder to get the job done. Tell him to hurry up. Goblin said hurry up. Hurry up. Shut up. Is he hurrying up? Goblin. Hurry up. <laughs> Only the stakes in this case are a lot higher, because the longer this takes me, crap. Here comes the rain. doing that right? The more likely I'm going to get struck by lightning. OK. Huh? I think we're good. All right, I'm coming down. You did it good? No, I did it bad. What, what does that mean? How many spots did you get? I got one word, fixed. Six? Fixed. I said fixed. That was fixed. more than six. Fixed, Garwin. Hey, well, duct I'll tell tape you fix. What. Yep, that duct tape fix anything, won't okay, it? I'll tell you what. You can put some over Garwin's mouth so he shut up. <laughs> Let's see if we can scrounge up some lunch. I really worked up an appetite holding that lighter. So we are going to play Pictionary a version of it. Or we can play up. Uh, what's the game that you have to draw? We have to guess. Pictionary. Yeah, we should, we should do that. Yeah, OK. So what is this game? Wait, I don't understand. What are we playing? <laughs> Since almost everybody was over helping at MMLK and Pablo Field's house, I decided to go help with Jessica and all the kids. River, so is yours. Is that Gus? <laughs> yeah. It looks just like him. I volunteered to help because, I mean, I love kids, and also that sounded a lot more pleasant than going out in the rain and helping with sandbags. Whoa! Oh. 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 It's so okay. cool! All right, for this round, y'all are going to draw... Sadie. Oh, oh. Lord. What happened? I'll get some flashlights. You want me to hold us? Yeah, if you would, that would be awesome. Yeah. And Keep I'll go though. get some flashlights. Who's scared of storms? Lily Robertson is scared. Well, when it comes to storms, of course. Or bridges. Flooding <sighs> or drowning. That's like my worst fear. Yeah. So I hate the ocean. Sometimes I don't like the pool either. Mom, what about the chickens? They're going to drown. Chickens can swim, can't they? No, they will die. What is that? A dead chicken floating around, waiting for something to eat it. Priscilla. Chickens? That was the last thing on my mind. You don't want to be picking up wet, dead chickens. OK, OK. Take the baby, and I'll go get them. Here, guys. Remember our baby one that we had? And it drowned its own self. And then one of them escaped and got eaten by ants. Do you need any help? That's OK, Sadie. Thanks. I don't want y'all to get out in this. I was only asking to be nice. <laughs> I was hoping she would say no. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back, OK? Try not to drown and not float with the dead chickens. Priscilla. Death. Good grief. It's coming down now. Uh, what are you oh, doing? Wow. Uh, well, hey, I was going to fix me some tea. The power went out. And I'm probably going to hurt at somebody if I don't get some tea. You don't want the best man withdrawal. Withdrawal. He will kill you. Mm. I can't think of a more dangerous situation than being stuck with Godwin and Cy in a state of emergency. Have you ever took a tea bag and smelt it? Yo, it smells like tea. You think Cy is crazy now? Imagine him trying to survive a week with no tea and no crazy pills. You need to quit worrying about your tea, and we need to start worrying about food. I am about. getting hungry. Godwin's about to starve to death. And the last time I saw Godwin go more than a couple hours without food was actually. You know, never. I need something to eat. We better come up with a solution and fast. I'm pretty sure Godwin just looked at me like I'm a cartoon ham. I'll tell you what. Mm. What? Willie has got something to had... eat in his office. I guarantee you that. It's a state of emergency. They well, said hey, it. There you go. That there means goes. martial law. Every man for himself. Boy, I tell you, my stomach thinks my mouth went on vacation. Watch uh, 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 out, baby. No. No. Uh, uh. Mom is so 
so brave because she went out and saved our chickens in the middle of the storm. Oh, that's so sweet. We're so worried about Bertha and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Here, hurry up. Take it. Take it, Ronnie. Oh. In the hot tub. Oh, no. Go, go. <laughs> You don't like any of your chickens. They all mean, and they don't even lay eggs. So really, we just have a bunch of chickens I do not like. The tree. <laughs> Come here. Oh, God. Good grief. You better be grateful. I don't think the chickens are going to be grateful that my mom saved them, because they're stupid. So they don't really know. Is there, are they all in there? Yeah, what the... There's diarrhea everywhere. OK. Ew. That is disgusting. Ew! Uh, I'm not cleaning that up. Me neither. I'm gonna have to bleach the tub. I don't know if I can bleach copper. All right, boys, I'm telling you, the Bet promised boy. land. All right, boys, there's grub in these woods. Okay, boy. Right, of course, you're gonna take the seat. Hi. What? It's gotta be in there. I'm what telling does? you. The goodies. What's the code? Well, how you gonna get in there? There's a place for a key there, boys. Find the key. Hey, we're stuck here, but trust me when I tell you this, okay? If there's any edible food, it's gonna be in Willie's safe. See what's in that box. Uh, look, look in the, the box. box. Look in the box, boys. Look in the box. Why, you ask me? Hey, very simple. People keep their valuables in a safe, okay? And trust me, food is valuable to him. <laughs> You'd never expect to find it here, would you? What? Where? On top of the safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, brilliant! <laughs> Yo, look, to Willie, food is worth more than gold. Oh, hey. hey. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Yeah. Right, what we got? We got pay dirt. Yes. All right. As I told you fat boy had some food, boys. Ooh. He Bean got turkey. the white donut, the powdered donut. Si, you like yeah. peanuts, don't you? Oh, the chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna probably eat some. Oh, that ain't peanuts. <laughs> he got a booby trap. Our spirits have definitely been lifted. A bull horn. Hello. Oh, Whoa. good grief. <laughs> There's a state of emergency out there. Do you think everybody heard that? Not unless it's got a translation that comes with it. The inside of Willie's safe pretty much resembles the concession stand at a movie theater. Instead of it being filled with overpriced snacks and candies, it's all free. Why would you put this in a safe? To keep it safe. It's to a bandana, dude. To make sure you don't wear them, I guess. I should wear it. For us, at least. I'm sure Willie had to pay for it. Willie's a good guy to know in a state of emergency. He ain't mm -hmm. getting plenty of supplies. Powdered donuts is my favorite. I love his little frosted animal cracker. I ain't had none since I was like six. Boys, I would kill for a glass of iced tea right now. You're gonna have to go to a clinic for to dry out your teeth. No, this is a good time help. for you to I get off teeth. I may have to just drive as far as I can drive and then swim the rest of the way home. You better find a boat. Powdered donuts are my favorite. This is delicious. We should get stuck down here more often. Yeah. Well, at least we have a lot of candles. Back in the day, we had, like, one candle. <laughs> because we were poor. <laughs> Willie, didn't you used to spit on food? I didn't but... spit. I licked it. Gross. Once you lick it, it's protected, so you can eat it later. Didn't y'all have enough food to go around? Miss Kay cooks all the time. Well, remember, we were poor. You had to open the door to get cool. Because there was no air conditioning. No air... Mom, we had no air conditioning in the house. What's the problem here? I know. I lived here, too. We were poor, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, we didn't have a lot of extra money for luxuries like new cars, new furniture, or new clothes. I was in college before I knew what a new pair of socks felt like. Well, what about when I said I think I broke my arm and you shushed me and said we're trying to figure out who shot JR? Well, we were poor then, too. Our family's version of because I said so is basically because we were poor. Why did you feed us organs? Mom, we had no air conditioner in a house. Why were we burning our garbage in the front yard? We were poor. We were poor. We were poor! She once tried to convince me to come over and help her mow the yard because when we grew up, we were poor. I was like halfway done when I realized that doesn't make any sense. You know what? The poor stories are why y'all are who you are. And y'all turned out. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah.
Yeah, that took forever. My buddy said the double bridges are open. We can go that way. All right, we're gonna go check on the guys at the warehouse. Mom, right, thank you. That it. was awesome. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. Go well, find these guys. It didn't float off. Oh, shit. Where could shoot. they be? Look at this water. Oh, my goodness. That's a brand new t shirt. Why wouldn't they use a mop? All right, I'm fixing to go chew their butts out for using brand new t shirts. All right, I'll go check your office. In a way, I'm kind of glad that Willie gets to see what happens when these guys are functioning without my supervision. Mm. Whoa. Howard's back. Howard's back. Sweet. What are y'all doing? Huh? Willie's right behind me. He is oh. right <laughs> behind me. You take my management skills out of the equation, and let me tell you what you got. Chaos. Yeah, put that in there. Stupidity. Get the phone off the door. Run rampant. Where did y'all get all this stuff? It's all in this safe. Y'all opened this safe? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's gonna fire every one of you. On the other hand, they are my duck call brothers. If you wanna get on these guys, you gotta come through me. And now, they owe me one, which is always good. Jace, close yeah. it, close it. They're in here. They were checking your office. <sighs> Why are you checking my office? Why are you in my seat? What are you doing with my tea? I found it on your truck. Hey, my glass was with that, right? Yeah, yeah I'm not... sitting right beside Well, you. hey, go get me some ice in my glass. I'm not touching that. I'm not getting you ice. <laughs> get out Don't of my touch chair. Your glass. I'm out I of your chair. I told you, do not sit in my chair, ever. OK? That's the rule. What are y'all? Don't have water here? Look, he, he ain't had no tea yeah, all day. He ain't had no tea all day. He's been freaking out, I'm telling you. <sighs> Why do y'all have Willie's bandana on your head? Mmm. Mmm. Gowan did it. It's nice on Boss's Day. It's Boss's Day, isn't it? Is it Boss's Day? They have a day for that? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, can somebody okay. explain to me why y'all used brand new t-shirts to mop up water? Because we couldn't find a mop. Couldn't find a mop? We couldn't find a mop. That should be changed. They There's a mop have... room. I mean, that's just stupid. That's kind of stupid. Boss's day? Look, I'm not just going what the man told me. Is there a worker day? Huh? There's a mop room? I didn't know there was a mop room. I didn't room. either. I didn't either. Yes, there's a mop room. But anyway, room. we couldn't find a mop. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, did you get the roof stopped up? Yeah. Done. yeah. We got duct tape on. I mean, it's a temporary fix. Yeah, yeah. It's a band-aid at best. Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't going to. It needs to be repaired, but I mean, yeah. you know, it did stop the leak. Yeah. OK. Y'all can, can get out of here. All right. All right. I got to get me something to eat. Uh -huh. right. I'm, I'm gone. Ready. Yeah. All right. I'm out of here, boys. All right, see, see you, ya. boss. Pick up them T-shirts. There's a mop room? I didn't know there was a mop I didn't room. either. Oh, no, you didn't. You dirty suckers. Hey! All right, y'all ready to pray? Lord, thank you for this day and this food. We uh, want to pray a special prayer for those affected by the flood, Lord. We just pray they can get through it and rebuild. Our hearts are out to them, Lord. It's in your son's name. Amen. 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 All right, boy. Get on that soup. Let's get on that soup. My family and I were fortunate not to suffer any losses during the most recent flooding disaster. But others in our area were not so lucky. It's unfortunate, but sometimes it takes a tragedy to remind us how precious life is. The effects of a natural disaster can be devastating, and no one is immune. That's why it's so important to show gratitude for the things you have, and more importantly, the people who love you. Even if it means having to forgive them for breaking into your safe and stealing your snacks. Am I going crazy, or do I hear chickens? Actually, both. a trip to Canton. I love it. I need some new furniture. Willie embarrassed me last time when he bought that horsehair coat. He was like fat guy in a little coat? No, it, <laughs> it was like a stinky horse on a fat man. That's what it was like. There he is. Oh, speak of the devil, there he is. Okay, I need help fill with the land. I forgot my boots. Does he have an extra pair? 
go in there. You'll find it. You'll see them. Kay, have you seen this room? I live here. Of course I've seen the room. Kay, there's so much crap in there, I can't find nothing. It's a little cluttered. There's a panda. Stop throwing that. You're gonna break That's garbage. Something. I get after mom all the time, and it's just playful and it's just joking. Hey, that's a Ooh. typewriter. If she wants to fill her house up with a bunch of stuff, hey. But she does need to hear it, though. What is this? You know the man that brings me the eggs? What am I supposed to put them in? Hey, this is garbage. My things are collections. I don't care what they say. Why do you have clothes laying here? Uh, I get a shirt for every airport I go through. Give me that. Okay. It's out of control. No, no, You know what you not. look like? What? You look like a hoarder. I do have hoarding tendencies. It said it's a mental disorder, so I may have that. We have mental illness in my family and Phil's. It kind of makes you see why the boys are like they are. Clean this crap up. If he broke that tie he's going to pay for that. Boys, this is what I was talking about. I mean, it's not that bad. However, we need a refurbishing of it. My idea of happiness is killing things. Boop, 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 boop. So duck blinds are a big thing with me, especially one I've spent 20 years shooting ducks out of. Looks like we got us a snake den here. They've all denned up here. We kill a lot of ducks out of this hole right here, out of this little blind. I mean, it can be fixed. Now, I know you're sentimental toward it, but I'm just, the best thing to do is just to let it go and let's start over. Phil has like 35 blinds down there, but he gets really sentimental. He gets hung up on one because back in 87, I, we shot that whatever out of it. And I'm like, Dad, you've got to let these things go. Willie Boy and Jace, since they weren't in on the building, they can just come in and say, yeah, let's get rid of it. You know, comes easy if you weren't down there building the doggone thing. Phil, there's only one way to deal with this blind. Hey, Red, you got it all wired up? Oh, yeah, it's ready to go. Ready to go, no mistakes. No mistakes. Let's do this. Willie has always been a destructive young man. I compare him to a young coon. What he can't tear up, he craps on. Blow that sucker up. Fire in the hole. All right, what happened? What happened, Red? Red. What do you think? Go ahead, Red. Whoa. Let me tell you a little bit about redneck logic. If you want to take something away from him, just blow it up, because then he's going to be so enamored by the fire. Whoa that he'll forget all about what he's losing. I mean, you can blow his house up. If it looks cool enough, he's fine with it. Where you been all day? Blowing duck blinds, so much as I hate to say it. You'll just have to get over it, won't you? Willie be the one that concocted that scheme. <laughs> a redneck stunt of Abzine one. It's never dull being married to a Robertson, never. It's just like, you know, I'm the man, you're the woman. We're like in the cave, but not really. We're in modern times. They blew that Well, sucker. speaking of getting rid of things, that RV out there, it's ugly, and I want to get it out. I'm going to have a yard sale, and that's going to be the first thing to go. That is unlike you, to move stuff out. Well, it's a new day, darling. <laughs> Well, I don't know what you're laughing at. You as much go. stuff as you've got around here, and you're talking about fixing to get rid of some of it? That's right. Well, what people need to realize about the South, everything is usable. One man's junk is another man's treasure. You know what? Let me give you a job. 
You and Jim Moret are gonna go out there and get us some squirrels. I'm on it. I'm going squirrel hunting. I love fried squirrel. I always have since I was a girl, and especially the squirrel brains, which Phil loves to tell everybody in the whole world that, because they always go, ooh, gross, that's horrible. But I do like them. I can't help it. They're good. Kay wants me and you to go kill some bunch of squirrels. You want to fry up some right quick? The first time I went squirrel hunting, I was six years old. You gotta be a good shot, because they quick and they little. There you go, friend. I done missed that sucker again. Five sweet times. And next time, let me shoot it. No, Red, you the bush shaker, son. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the rifleman. I've seen you shooting. We're in trouble if we go home empty-handed. You never want to make the cook mad. When the grub runs out, things get tough around the house. There used to be a bunch of them up here. Got another one, Red. That's a big, fat cat squirrel there. He'll be sweet and juicy in the pot, just like Miss Kay likes it. They slicked me the first couple of hours, but hey, you can't even spell squirrel without S-I. And that's me. You don't realize how long I've worked on that. Me, I'm the CEO of the business. Jace, he tunes and designs all the calls. I mean, he is an artiste. He's like a duck whisperer. He speaks duckanese. Once you get that sound, you got it. Jace invented a duck call called the triple threat. It's got three reads instead of two, but it took him six months to come up with one. I went out and sold thousands and we need thousands in our bin to ship out. What exactly is the problem? Why is it taking so long? To... Si has to do the reads. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what all he's doing up here, but on the double read system, I could do a 1,000 a day in eight hours. Five si, you ain't ever worked eight hours in the day. Hey, look. <laughs> yeah, how much of that was nap time? Yeah. Now, if we go... Look here, don't get in on the nap, boy. Hey, hey. everybody's saying it's just going to take time. How much time is that? Hey. I feel sorry for Willie in a way. he got a lot of headache because he's the CEO of the business, OK? But when it comes to me, he's my nephew, I'm his uncle, and I, I'm going to take me a good two-hour nap, maybe three. It's like the story of the little red hen. Everybody wants to eat the pie, but nobody wants to help make the pie. We need, like, a number. We need, like, this day, this day. We'll have them here. This is when it's going to be on the market. Ballpark, guesstimate, anyone? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? My dad never comes to the warehouse. I mean, never. When he comes in the door, you know something's up. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? My dad never comes to the warehouse. I mean, never. When he comes in the door, you know something's up. I've been thinking. I have come up with a solution for that stunt you pulled blowing my duck line up. That needed to happen. We've got to replace that duck line. As you know, your mama's been on my back about this raggedy RV parked in my yard. We're going to take that thing, stick it about 20 foot up in there on a platform, and we're standing there shooting ducks out of it. Oh, good Lord. Here we go. I can see that RV 20 feet up, camouflage net, brushed up. I mean, I can see it as something you'd say, look at here, look at here. Good times have come our way. I mean, this is like some kind of deal out of Hollywood. Think about it, boys. It will be the mother of all duck lines. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> my family is only interested in hunting and being out there in the woods. But that doesn't pay the bills. It's not a bad idea. It's a treehouse for adults. An RV in the trees? I thought it was brilliant. All hands on deck oh my for the mother of all duck lines. See you in the woods. But we've got work to do. So much for the duck hunts. Here's the deal. Phil started the company. I mean, behind my name is CEO, but in reality, 
Phil's gonna get what he wants. This is the worst idea in the history of Duck Commander. <laughs> this will be our new home, boys. Phil, this is in worse shape than the one we got rid of. This is nice, now I'm oh, yeah. Real nice, Phil. Look at this. I mean, you got running water. Phil, well, this is the nastiest thing. <laughs> How'd he get in there? It's a dead gum possum. It was just an old possum that had gotten up in that RV, and on a spur of the moment, I said, what would happen if you threw a possum on a man? We got a man down. <laughs> yeah. Married a yuppie girl living in the subdivision. That's what happens to you. A possum will scare you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my question is, how are you going to get it in the trees? I got reinforcements coming. I hear some kind of machinery, boys. Being a wealthy redneck does have its advantages. The cavalry has arrived. Because no matter how dumb an idea is, <laughs> all right, boys, let's get to work. We can always hire an entire redneck army to make sure the job gets done. Phil didn't believe me when I told him I was going to have a yard sale and get rid of all that junk. But I thought, well, I've lived with this junk in this house for years. So we're going to do it, and that's the way it's going to go. What are you looking at on these guns right here? I would say $20. $20? These guns are about 100 years old. Does that sound like a good price to you? Yeah, that's a good idea. My daughter-in-laws will be so happy to help me with this, because they want to get rid of the junk. Oh, oh, JJ. JJ, you got to go. What is a fly swatter? Oh. That chair is the most disgusting thing. I mean, it stinks. There's a few dog toys. It's got duck feathers on it. That's food. There's no telling how much food, Phil's beard hair. Insects, that chair is a health hazard, so it's got to go. <laughs> Phil's always like, don't touch my stuff, don't touch my stuff. He's going to be mad. Zach, get up there. Put a screw in it. Willie, the CEO, loves to work in the business, make money, make your business successful. Level enough. Willie, the CEO, is not going to go all out to make sure that a trailer gets up in the air 10 feet. My hands are clean of this whole deal. i never seen a bunch of rednecks accomplish so much so quickly. Well, what are you doing? I can't stand up. My knees hurt. I mean, is that, is, is he kidding? Five minutes before we started working, you got a career end and knee injury. I heard it when he threw the possum at me. Well, Willie doesn't like manual labor. He doesn't like to sweat. It's been my studied opinion that once you get the title CEO, if you interject manual labor, injuries begin to occur. What you ought to do is get your crew. Y'all get over there and you get it painted by the time we get this thing knocked out. I don't know if I can stand up and paint. You can do this. He's like a blister. He shows up when the work's all gone. <laughs> The garage sale is officially on. You like it? Good. Even when you have a garage sale, it's like any other thing I have at my house. It's always food involved, always. I love meeting new people. Come back and see me. A party's not a party without jambalaya. Thank you. Hey, Uncle Sa. Yeah? Are hey, you about to lose your cup? Oh, no, Willie, I ain't going to lose this cup. I spent 24 and a half years in the military, and half the people didn't know my name. But when they said, oh, yeah, you know him, it's always that guy that comes to formation with that Tupperware glass full of iced tea in his hand. So where all's that cup been? I see Fort Polk, Louisiana, Fort Knox, Kentucky, Germany, three or four places over there, Vietnam. Mama sent it packed in a care package with a Tupperware glass in it in 68 when I was in Vietnam. Do you wash it in the dishwasher? No, I bleach. You wash your dishes in bleach? This is my trademark. That's some kind of collector's item. There's three things I travel with. One of them is this cup. The other is a gallon jug of tea. And then the final and most important one thing is the Bible. 
I never leave home without them three things. What about a weapon? Well, hey, that's number four. Perfect. Boy, I'm proud of that job y'all did there. Boys, it looks like a million dollars. Let's raise it up. I'm a duck blind builder from way back, but this one is a little different, let me put it that way. That RV is just a piece of junk. If one screw falls out of it, all the walls will fall out and it'll just tumble over right there. Good luck getting that thing in the air. Well, hey, we're gonna lift this thing up and put it up there or not? Ty, why are you saying hey every sentence? No, no, hey. What does hey mean? Just, I'm just wondering. Y'all give it the meaning you want it to have. Hey. The word hey is like a fabric woven into size character. Hey, Owen, let's go. Hey, these clowns, hey, they don't know what they're doing. He just hey again. Hey. Hey. It's automatic. I say, hey, hey. Hey can mean yes. Hey can mean maybe. Hey can mean no. Hey can mean next week. The bottom line is you got to understand me to understand hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get it done, boys. Oh, yeah. Smooth, steady as you go. Uh -huh. All right, he's on down. Watch the extensor. Hey, go pick up a little bit and then move on out. Now we cook up a peanut oil. Hey. <laughs> Hey, okay. hey, hey. <laughs> Come on in, boys. Watch this. Huh? We got heat. What about that? You can cook. Microwave. That works. Coffee maker, huh? My house isn't this nice. It's a wooded getaway. Now, that was more Willie's department. Decorating. I like it in there. Nice. But this is more nice. Hey, this is a good view. I'm glad you blew it up, Will. I hear you. I bet I could sell one or two of these. Well, thank y'all. All right, see y'all later. Somebody actually bought that chair. I can't believe it. I thought it was just going to go to the dump. but. They actually bought it. Sometimes it amazes me what people will spend good money on. Kind of like that squirrel there. Well, I can sell you that squirrel. I got another squirrel I can put him beside. Uh, would you take five for him? I'll take five. You would? You can have it for five. All righty. That looks like my chair. Oh, that's my squirrel. Hey, my man. Hey, Willie. What are you doing with my squirrel? I bought it at a garage sale. Corey's having down the road. That's my squirrel. I didn't know it was your squirrel. Yeah, it's my squirrel. Well, I gave $5 for it. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to give you 10 and I'm taking it back. I'd rather have the squirrel, Willie. Let me rephrase this. I'm going to give you $10. This deal's over. Apologize for the inconvenience. Hey, Mountain Man. Hey. Hey, Mountain Man. What in the world is all this? Hmm. Hey. Miss Kay, tell me that was not my chair heading up the road with them hippie girls. I would say it's kind of a shock to a man's system, you know, when some of his stuff is out in the yard being pawned off to the local rednecks. 47 years married to your mama. Getting rid of his chair like getting rid of his dog. I've been married to Phil since I was 16. He always has trouble letting go of things and any kind of change. It stunk. We had a garage sale. We got rid of the junk. I didn't consider my chair at this point to be rummage. Hey, buddy, I'll get you a new chair. How about that? Now we cook up a peanut oil. There you go. Women are like Labrador retrievers. You know, they all have quirks. 
but you stay married to one 45, 50 years, you learn to go with the quirks. How much did y'all make? Almost $600. I want no. 10 of it back, because I just had to buy this back. <laughs> How about y'all go clean up and get ready for supper? Hey, I'm on my way. Father, we thank you for the woods, we thank you for the water, and we thank you for all the things that live in them. Thank you for blessing us tonight, especially with this good meal. Amen. Amen. Let's get into some of these bushy tails. People are nature's number one creature of habit. We tend to get comfortable, stuck in our ways, and fear change. We like to hold on to old things in order to hold on to old memories, when usually they keep us from making new ones. Sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and make a clean break from the past to start a fresh beginning. Hey, Uncle Sa. Si. Hey. 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 <laughs> Where's he at? He's upstairs. What's wrong? My truck is totally out of gas. Oh, no. John Luke doesn't seem to realize that driving my truck ain't a right. It's a privilege. And that privilege can be revoked. Did you forget anything last night? Have you ever heard of gas? Yeah. Because if I would have stopped, I would have been late. Then I would have gotten in trouble. Don't worry about getting in trouble there. Worry about my truck having fuel in it. Now we're all screwed. You're in trouble, and I'm taking your car. Oh, wait, no, no, you can't take my car. Today. I have to take your car. Well, I'll take you to work. I'll Fine. run you up there. You're gonna go get gas, however you wanna get it. On a bike, phone a friend, do what you gotta do. Get fuel in my truck. Yes, sir. All right. If mom's taking you, then after I get gas, can I take your truck to the movies? No. You just brought it back empty. I just told you that. I'm really starting to think John Luke doesn't understand the whole parent-kid dynamic. I make the rules, you follow them. That's it. Get out of here. Go upstairs. Yes, ma'am. I think we may need to get that boy's head checked. John Luke's deal is. I mean, does he not get it? I'm should, with uh, you on should've that. should've just called. Hey, I'm about to run out of gas. I may be late. Oh, no, should I get I'm gas or that. should I just roll it in on fumes? Willie, this would all be solved if you just got him his own vehicle. I'm not just gonna give him everything in life. He needs to earn it. The boy doesn't need to learn responsibility. The boy needs a swift kick in his butt. Well, he's not taking my car. He's gonna keep driving yours if you're not getting him a vehicle. I think he needs his own vehicle. Parenting is a constant struggle between making your kid's life better and ruining your own. I hate rewarding John Luke for doing something stupid, but why should I have to suffer? I mean, he needs to learn responsibility. He needs to run out of gas in his own darn vehicle. You're so right. Good idea, babe. Glad I thought of that for you. This may be my best idea ever. Can I have a cookie, Tom? What you got to trade for it? You got a half-eaten sandwich? No, no. I got the gold right here, so look what I got. Ooh. How about a little? Hey, I'll make a trade for you. Oh, now you want bag, to trade. Bag of chips. Bag of chips? Yeah. Okay. I mean, not chips. Chocolate chip cookies. Let me see. Let me have that. <laughs> that ain't really a trade, is it? Hey, it's a trade. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't going to trade. Cupcakes is one of my favorite desserts. Especially those with the little squirrely squirrels on top of them. Hey, look, I know we're family boys, but hey, well, I might kill for a cupcake. All right. Ooh, this joker's melting. Well, ain't this embarrassing? You get huh. chauffeured around by his wife. Oh, wasn't that sweet? The CEO's out here cadoodling in the parking lot. They fixed to make me throw up, boys. I'm trying to eat my cupcake here. Have a good day. <laughs> Love you. Back in my day, if we wanted to make out, you know, we'd go to the ice cream parlor. You know, if you got hungry, you could order a burger and fries, and hey, for dessert, hey, You'd have a banana split, man. Those were the days, Jack. What about What's it, up, Will? Willie? What's happening? Why is Corey chauffeuring you around today? My son continues to bring my truck back on less than E. Out of gas. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about buying him a 
vehicle. You better buy him just some beat up piece of junk. Hey, right, you need to get one just like that truck of mine there. That's what I just said, Ty. Piece of junk. Where I come from, your trunk is a reflection of your personality. Cy si is a perfect example of this. You look at his truck. It's old, it's gray, it spits, sputters, blows smoke out of the tailpipe. It's it's just like Cy. Si. Hey, that thing purrs like a kitten. <laughs> purrs like a kitten? Yeah. yeah. That purrs like a walrus in a steel trap. You boys bad mouthing my truck. Hey, I'll do you a favor. Me and that truck y'all bad mouthing, I'll drive you around and we'll find you son of our truck. Hey, seeing how I'm the resident expert on vehicles in this group, I think I should help old Willie out. Hey, plus I won't have to work. Considering I don't have a vehicle, I'm gonna take this opportunity. Y'all get back to work. Good luck, Will. You better put your seatbelt on. Let's pick up John Luke. Hey. Hey. They won't make it five miles. I'll tell you this. If they're going to take the day off, I'm going to take the day off. And I'm going to go catch some crawfish. Go crawfish. Go crawfish. <laughs> God, son. You need to get some air in that truck. That's a classic, son. This is it, huh? The best thing I know to do is to buy a car from someone that you know who's not going to try to fast talk you. Hey, Willie. What do you say, Mountain Man? There is nothing fast about Mountain Man. How y'all doing on this fine day? We're here to look at this Bronco for John Luke. It's a 1990 model. Uh, looky here. You got this bumper guard on here. And... John Luke, he can mow over deers or whatever kids do nowadays. He ain't mowing over deer. You got your road kid. I'm really not sure about this anymore. <laughs> What's it gonna take me to get you in this truck today? I'll give you $2,000 right now in cash. Oh, That's really? cash money. A lot of sentimental value in here. Sentimental? Hey, sentimental don't pay the bills, Mountain Man. Well, I had my first date in this thing. Oh, Ethelene Shrum, we went up. Hey, we ain't got time to hear the story of your sex life. It was a beautiful thing. I'm sure it's a great story. I give you $2,100, $100 for your sentimental loss, and we can do this deal right now. Mm -hmm. Hunter, Mountain Man. Cash, Benjamin uh, Franklin. Mm -hmm. Cash, son. No, I don't know about that, Willie. I might could come down to about five thousand. Oh, bull crap! I ain't giving you five thousand dollars. Come on, look here. I got, I got a treasure chest. I'll take you to. I know Willie. Okay, he's looking for a deal because he's a cheapskate. Hey, man's got everything. So hey, I'm gonna take him to a junkyard. Hey, he's got trucks, jeeps, chairs. Pool tables, cars, mattresses, RVs, potato salad, cold watermelon. He's got anything you want, Jack. Hey, a sack of oranges. Jolly, come on. I didn't like that piece of trash anyway. Is that all the crawfish traps we got? What are you up to? I'm going crawfishing. Did you ask your daddy if you could use the boat? No. Why would he care, Okay. It's old. Well, just because it's old, it still has value to it. My parents were hoarders before hoarding was cool. Well, you know, it's still valuable to feel, even if it's old. I mean, they just can't throw anything away. And the older something is, the less bad you feel about using it. You better make sure it's OK. Well, if we bring Phil back a big mess of crawfish, he'll never say a word. Oh, no, he'll be happy, happy, happy. Yeah, he'll like that. Just don't tear up anything doing it. Well, if I tear it up, I'll replace it. I mean, that's just the code among rednecks. Look, anything tore up, I have nothing to do with it. All right, All right thanks okay. for the Let's warning. Go. Let's get out of here. I'm driving. You in the middle? No, I ain't in the middle. You're dead, gum. I'm claustrophobic. Well, oh. how do you think I feel? This is just a big Martin sandwich. This is a junkie. Hey, look here. This is a gold mine. Y'all, we'll find John Luke a good little pickup truck in here. Where in the heck am I? Did Cy take me down the wormhole? They don't even have motors. Look, one man's junk is another man's treasure. No, so? this is every man's junk. All this is junk. Apparently, my definition of a gold mine and size differ drastically. 
There's a rooster in that truck. Hey, look here. You like chicken salad? <laughs> we already ahead on this deal. Hey, look here. Haven't you ever heard the term? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? There's not even a truck here that runs. Oh, hey, that my tire's got good legs left on it. Tires are good. John Luke, you done hit the jackpot. This baby's got a five speed. Hey, look here. 383. Son, there's grass growing out Hello? of it. Hello? Environmental. Gone green. Willie's mine is like a steel trap. It's closed. Where mine, on the other hand, OK, it's wide open. It's like an air tunnel in here, man. How are you gentlemen today? I'm Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, Y'all looking uh, for y'all nice little vehicle? We're yeah. not, we're, no, we're, y'all we're just, we're, I don't know what we're doing. Well, okay, what do you want for this thing? 2,500. Squirrel? 2,500. Uh, you're a little on the squirrely side. If you think I'm gonna give you $2,500 for it? Yeah, but look, look what you hey, get. I'll give you a thousand for it. A thousand? I probably got more than a thousand in that thing. Hey. Gentlemen, your turn. Am I in a bad dream here? What is going on? A We're not dream. interested in this piece of crap. It's got stuff growing in it. This is worse than I thought. I mean, I'm in the junkyard twilight zone with size evil twin, Squirrel. I swear I gotta start dealing with people with a real first name. John Luke would be proud to ride around in a truck like this. All right, we're good. Um, nice rig. Somebody to buy it. Squirrel, thank you for your time. Y'all take care. Yeah, uh, if nothing else, see you again. it'd be good for scrap metal. John Luke, that's why you don't do drugs, son. What a day for this. What a day. These are the days you live for. Unless y'all want to go back up there and work. No, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. No, no this is way better than work. Because you wake up in the morning, go into a concrete bunker, and then all of a sudden, freedom. Uh-oh, flat tire, lost the shoe. Hold on, I lost my shoe. Easy. Ow, I got a rock in my shoe. <laughs> Hold on, let me climb in this thing. All right. Whoa. Whoa! I think we got a little leak here. Look, I see where the water's coming oh. from. Start paddling toward the bank. Don't oh, worry. Hey, hey, good, hey. Hey. What we got? Whoa! Good. Whoa. Good. Whoa. 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 Any floating vessel can sink. Wow! Oh, God. Good grief! I think the Titanic proved that. Oh, that was a fish. Hey, I'm on the motor. Now, the difference in us and the Titanic was I brought two icebergs with me. Well, we ain't going crawl fishing. No. Where's the new dog? Oh, that yipping thing. <whistles> no, you have to do it like this. Muffin! Muffin! Is that her, is that her yeah, name? Yeah, you have to call her just like that. Muffin! That dog ain't good for nothing except eating everything in sight. Miss Kay is a dog lover, so am I. They're pretty good, first line of defense. If they bark at another dog, you can tell the bark they have. I make them shut up. If they're just barking because they're happy to be a dog and living in America, I, I know what that bark is, too. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Uh-oh. Where have you been? Boy, y'all worked up a big sweat doing something. The last thing that I want to hear is what I'm fixing to hear. The I told you so from my mom, and I'm gonna get the what are you thinking from my dad. No, we went out there uh, enjoying the day. We was gonna get some crawfish. Where are they at? I'm hungry for a good mess of crawfish. Well, we took that boat you had out there. Yeah. And uh, one of these boys forgot to put the plug in it. Do what? We buried that boat and the motor and all the gear. What'd I tell you about you tearing up things? We didn't tear it up, we sunk it. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. It's just at the bottom. Y'all been riding in boats your whole life. I mean, I can't believe you sunk it right there where you're talking about. When something crazy happens, my dad then feels like he needs to give you a lecture on why the plug is important to the boat. And you gotta sit there and listen because you sunk it. And it's his boat. Y'all didn't even check to see if there's a plug in the boat? No. Oh, good night of living. Chase. This would be like giving me the birds and bees speech for my 20-year anniversary. I got that. I have three kids. I figured it out. What do they sound like they right They sound now? like city slickers 
to me. I mean, you know, good night. You take a boat and you shove it off and get in it without a plug in it, and you got two 375 pounders with you. It's like a house cat who gets his tail caught in a fan. It won't be long now. Well, did I own anything that was in the boat? You own everything in the boat. Had all my snacks in it. Boat, motor, mm -hmm. snacks, mm -hmm. anything else. My hands smell like taco meat. What? What did he say? Well, I tell you what, we're going back down on that hole. This time it's going to be we. I'm going with y'all. It's time to get swampy again. This is John Luke's ride right here. No, it's not. This is the ride for a young man of his stature. Well, he needs to get John Luke a vehicle that will really turn heads. You need to get your hot rod, John Luke. Si, we're not getting a fast car that burns up the road. Well, what are we doing here, then? This thing needs to be, you know, souped up. He ain't looking for no family car. Well, he ain't buying it. I'm buying it. Well, buy him a hot rod. You know, purple fringe tail lights, 30-inch fins. Hey, I'm talking about a hot rod, Jack. Hey, now there's something more like it, Will, right there for you. That's a good-looking little car. Yeah, this one's not bad. You can't have this car. Why not? Where are you going to put a deer? Hey, put him on the hood. Look here, spread his legs, tie him to the mirrors. That'll work. And then drive through the middle of town, honking your horn, talking about, hey, look, yo, look what I just killed. Sometimes I worry about the influence Cy si has on my children. The last thing the world needs is another tall tale telling teetoting, narcoleptic redneck. Now, here's a nice truck. Does that need a bad-looking truck here? How y'all doing? How's it going? Hey. Doing fine. How you doing, young fella? You good. How can I help y'all? We're just looking. Possibly gonna buy. Not sure. Y'all came up in here with, in that thing? Wait a minute now. Hey, what do you mean that thing? Maybe I, I can upgrade you while you're here. Well, how much is that yellow car in the corner? Si, you ain't what? buying a car. We're here to buy John Luke a truck. When you run up on a good deal, you gotta pounce like a big bingo tiger. Ah. Does it got air conditioning? They all have AC. This is Dang Louisiana, it. yes. Got a lot of features to it. Power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, CD player. It's pretty wild. It's only $99.95. I don't think this truck worth $99.95. Got one a couple years old, a few more miles. It's blue in color. How much is it? $69.95. I like blue. Y'all want to go look at it? Let's go. Let's go have a look hey, at man, it. Hey, man, you'll like it. I've always liked blue. You sure is tied onto the boat? I did the best I could. I was up under the water. You ain't got nothing there. Well, good night. I can pull this out, whatever this is. Yeah, it ain't the boat. Yeah. Oh, good night. Oh, yeah. What did get? Well, I was caught. I was in the uh -oh. neighborhood. <laughs> Starting over. The creeks and rivers where we hang out, the visibility is about one centimeter. <laughs> hey, you want to come do this? Nope. Ha, ha. You hooked up on a log. Well, I thought it was the boat. Come on out of there with it, Jace. You got it tied? Oh, I got it tied this time. To the boat? To the boat. Hit it. Come on out of there with it. Come on, Goblin. Get out of there with it. Here we go. Hey, I, going see yellow. Yellow. I see the yellow. I see the strap. Oh, there's the boat. Hey, all right. Now we cook them with peanut oil. Merry Christmas. Here's your boat. Here's your crappy motor. All your traps, your net. Can we go now? Whew. Where am I drag? Let me see. Where is my drag? I'm looking. It was right here. My drag, it's gone. Huh? It's somewhere in between here and there. Got to find that. It's just a piece of metal. It's worth more than that whole contraption, I'll tell you that. I've had that drag for 25 years. I've dragged up as many hoop net with that. Got to have it. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, I'll get it. Where am I drag? So how exactly did y'all manage to sink the entire boat? Godwin didn't put the plug in the boat. That was, it wasn't funny. We could have died. <laughs> they were acting like yuppie boys. How is that acting like a yuppie boy that I wanted to go catch some crawfish? Trying to crank a motor that hadn't been cranked in five years without a plug in the boat. I didn't know the motor. Two walruses in one end of the boat. Yuppies all the way. 
Yeah, this whole bunch, after watching this fiasco, their redneck edge is beginning to slowly morph into yuppieism. If y'all would just throw some of this stuff away instead of keeping it as antiques, this wouldn't have happened. Some old things become more valuable as they get older, don't you know? Like myself. See, these younger bucks, all they do is tear up stuff. They never build anything. Who is well, that? Who in the world is that? Oh, my goodness, That'd be John your Luke. grandson. John Luke! Inside. John Luke, you got you John some new wigs. Mm -hmm. Finally. Pretty good looking rig. That's awesome. Good job, Daddy. So I got a new truck as well. It was a deal I couldn't pass up. We're happy, happy, happy. Hey, that's it. Si, what'd you do with your old truck? I thought the gray ghost was your baby. Hey, look here. All good things must come to an end, Martin. I'm gonna put it to rest. Selling it would be undignified. What are you gonna do, bury it? Huh? Something special, probably bury it. Just being a military man, have somebody play taps. Oh, I think we can do better than that. All right, boys, let's send her off with a bang. Knowing you, Grey Ghost. I'll give you two hundred dollars right now for it. So, oh. <laughs> hey, that was the best thing that truck ever did was blow up. Hey, that was a good hey, truck. Let's go eat. Hey, me. Hey. Hey. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Good, good job. Week. Good move, Kate. Say la vie, Grey Ghost. That's the way to end the day with a bang. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. I do pray for old John Luke. Father and his driving skills. Thank you for all the blessings you give us each day. Amen. 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 Let's get on them quick. Give me some of those birds. Some days you wake up and you just know that it's going to be a good day. And some days you find yourself spending thousands of dollars on a truck for your son. Life is full of detours, especially when you were south, or a couple of 300 pounders in a teeny tiny boat. The key is to not get discouraged thinking of all the wrong turns you made. You just have to keep on keeping on. How about going cruising for some ladies after dinner there, John Luke? Vroom, vroom. All right, so what do you have December 9th through 13th? I told you, in December, I'm going to be hunting. Willie, we have that buyer coming in. Maybe you can get one of those um, cardboard stand-ups of me <laughs> and just it's put it back in the chair. <laughs> Minute meeting. This only takes a second. I'll see with this you. This is an emergency. Why is everybody coming in here? It's what? an emergency. Si. Why do you have to do everything together? Because we're friends. We got a situation. Si is acting really weird. It took all four of you to tell me that? It's concerning. All right, get back to work. Look, telling me Cy is acting strange is not something I consider an emergency. That's like telling me the sun is hot, water is wet, and Kenny G plays a saxophone. Cy acting weird is not exactly news. This is really weird. Does he have all his clothes on? Most yeah, of the time. But, okay. but, but it's not just about that. These are just the facts of life. So when my employees take time from their workday to come into my office and voice their concerns, well, CEO Willie gets suspicious. Don't just ask me. His wiggling pan come out of the wobbling hole. What'd he say? His wiggling pan come out of his wobbling hole. I'll make a note of that, and you'll go back to work. So now CEO Willie has to become Detective Willie to see if these guys are telling me the truth, or if they just want a coffee break. OK, so what is he doing differently than he normally does? Corey, don't even engage Look. Well, I mean. He's just Babbling. That's normal. That's normal for him. It's like if a rapper went insane and got really old, and then he just started talking. Is he like flavor flav weird or like? He don't have a clock. Well, it's a cuckoo clock. Where's he at right I now? I don't know. It's hard the to describe. You gone. need to come watch. Yeah, are the clocks gone? Damn, where's he at yeah. right now? The cuckoo stayed, but the clock. Okay, left. enough of the cuckoo. Okay. Where is he at? He's actually working. What? Is he messing up the inventory? I'm sure he is. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I need to look. stop that. Rapping may be a bit of a stretch. He just He's rhymes. Well, you can I just work with normal people? You hired us. Technically, most of you are related. You came with the job.
rain started. It made us run into the jungle of cane. Here? We said, well, let's hop on the train. What? There he is. And then that's when we run into old Wayne. There's nobody. Is somebody out there? No, there's nobody out there. Cork. Maybe he's sick or lost his mind. Stop! That's what I'm talking about. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Laugh. Is he, like, rhyming things? Yeah, it's like he's, he's discovered rhyming? the English language for the first time. Pork! Oh. That's a yelling. That's weird. We have an emergency situation here. Stop, drop, and roll. Like, oh, that's a how fire. does that apply? He's not on fire. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, he's on fire. When Jace told us that Sai was acting weird, we were concerned. Correction. You were concerned. I'm used to that. I think he's just getting older. You know, when people get old, they just start <laughs> saying weird things. I'm not sure he's all there. I've been convinced he's not all there. Well, I mean, like, do you think? He's on drugs? No, we well, need just, to take I him to, I think just, we need to take I him to the doctor. I think you need to look at everything. That's weird. Maybe he's been exposed to some kind of weird mold. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we're all gonna get old someday, and you know, we could lose our mind. Especially you, because it runs in your family. Mm -hmm. You better start doing crossword puzzles. Has he been sleeping as much as he? He's been sleeping an incredible amount. Hot. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. I like you doing so. So look, guys, put yeah. those boxes yeah. there. I think. Done. There I'm gonna go. put this one right here. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the help. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Hey, what are y'all doing? Organizing stuff. Y'all weird. I'll take that We're as weird. a compliment. Yeah, you're weird. Hi. Thank you. What? Um, I was gonna go buy for buy lunch. You ready? No. It's Let free. me get this other order out. Whoa. It's free. All right. All right. He's never turned down At any something. free food. Are you really buying lunch? Only if Sai joined us. So. I think that was that just a test. To see. Now, cool. Everybody's on their own. You can't go back. Yeah. She no, said free. Don't you say it. Yes, I can. Said Watch it. me. Wait a minute. You're breaking the lunch protocol. That's just hate. I'm gonna yeah. start talking to myself. I want free lunch. Look, I'll go ahead and read my letter to Cy first, if that's all right with y'all. We're not reading letters yet. I, I wrote this uh, long letter. We're just we're just asking what's going on. It's not a letter thing. I thought this was an intervention. You said it's an intervention. This isn't an intervention. It's not an intervention. It's just a talk. There he is. Hey, put that away. Surprise! Surprise. Did I forget? Is it my birthday? Uh-oh, he doesn't know it's his birthday. This is a bad time. It's not a surprise. Well, is this one of them invention things? No, it's yes. not an intervention. Just Look, I'll go ahead and read my letter. Don't read that stupid letter. It's typed up and everything. I mean, I'd like just to read it. Just let me have We're just sitting what? there. We were just going to ask you a question or two. What y'all, you idiots yelling Look, surprise for? What's a surprise? We were just wanting to know, is everything going OK? You've been acting a little weird. Durr than you normally do. Well, you know, look, I caught a little bug this year. Oh. And, he's hey, yeah. and look, he's I didn't want to tell y'all until I got better. No. Oh, Are yeah. you yeah. better? Is it mental or? No, it ain't that. There you know, were some signs. Look, I caught the music bug. The music bug? Yeah. Hey, right. it may have took me 68 years to get started on my music career. There it is. Hey, right. well, like, look, better late than never. I've been out honky tonking at night. Oh, with my, my band. Goodness. Yes. Well, That's why I've been taking so many naps lately. Hey, if you stay up to 2 a.m. honky tonking, it's rough on a man, especially at my age. What are you, time warping back to 1978? I no, don't know no, there was look, a big honky tonk scene here. Look, all the good guys start out on the honky tonk circuit. Hey, people always tell me young kids, okay, follow your dreams. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. They're kids, okay? Look, you need to leave following your dreams to the old dogs. He's pursuing his dreams. Hey, I play bars, I play nursing homes, OK? Hey, I'll even come to a bar mission. You know, if you invite me. Bar who? The nursing home? Yeah. Oh. The nursing home is a tough gig. We're the ones that need to be ch chasing the rainbows, OK? So we can go out in a blaze of glory. Well, Sal, si, look, I'm not paying you all day just to hang around and buzz and hiss and write songs and sleep. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to have to officially retire from Duck Commander. Whoa. 
Are you really retiring, or is it like you always do? Uh, you quit okay. like 30 yeah. times. Man's got to chase his dream. You he better wants... get to running, big boy. What do you mean, get to running? I'm just saying, you're about oh, no, 50 I'm yards in my behind. Prime, sonny boy. I'm in my prime. He's in his, in his prime. prime. Can I go ahead and read my letter? I, st I, I spent a long time on this. <laughs> hey, don't read that letter. Oh, you wrote a letter? What's an intervention letter? It's about how you need about to... About me? Yes. Read it to me. I may turn it into a song. <laughs> Crank it up, Jethro. Your life is going to have to change in the following ways. Number one. No, no, that's junk. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't have to take that crap. He go. I think this is for real this time. He's either really retiring or he's really crazy. Both. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll be back in two weeks. <laughs> well, besides, I actually retired. I think his career in music will be short-lived. What do you think? So I can't write a sentence, much less a song. Great at fragments. Are y'all gonna get a sigh of retirement again? No. Depends. It's funny you should mention that, because I got him a little... Mm. <laughs> Let me Vanna White this baby. <laughs> He's not gonna like that. And that's expensive. You don't see the problem with that? What? They want to forget about time when you get old. That's all old people do. No, what time's don't. lunch? What time's breakfast? What time's my nap? What time's murder she wrote? His whole life is like a cruise ship. Did you save the receipt on that? I actually got it engraved, so... Total waste of money. Old people like gold. They don't like gold. watches? Gold! It's where it's at. He's gonna throw it away. He's gonna throw away gold. Yeah. He's senile and stupid, but he ain't that stupid. There he is. Uh, what are you idiots up to? I thought you retired, sir. Si. Hey, look, consider this my three-day notice. Sit down, work. idiot. Get out of my chair. Si, you don't even face. work here. Go back to your office where you belong, fat boy, and let me sit down <laughs> in my chair. Si. <laughs> si has given a lot to me over the years, mostly gray hairs and an ulcer. I need to get these guys ready to go after I leave. They'll be fine, believe me. It'll. No, take... this is going to be a huge thing for y'all to overcome. Yep, things just won't be the same around here without Si. Who knows? We may actually get some work done. So what do you want for your parting gift? Well, we'll have a slambury. A wing ding. You want a font? A shindy. Oh, a shindy. A, shindy. a party. Hey, a, a, a party. Yeah. Party. party. Not okay. just a party. A blowout party. Now, we'll get you a cake, and on your last day here, we'll have a little party for you in the conference room. No, you're going with the old formal retirement. Oh, hey, give him a watch. Yo, with his initials on it. No, I said that about Say goodbye to him with a cake in the conference room. That ain't a party. That's boring. Hey, look, guys, I put my whole life into Duck Commander, okay? And look, there's gonna be a giant void when I leave. So look, I need to be sent off properly. You know what I'm talking about? Watches are cool. Do what? You get like a gold watch, that thing goes up in value. Hey, I'm retiring. We know. What am I gonna need a watch for? Time still goes look, on, so. Hey, here's what I want you to do. I ain't talking about just a party, okay? I'm talking about it's got to be a party. I want a band and a stage, okay? I'll get up and sing a few songs, and we'll have a blast. Si, I'll get I a backup band, and I'll blow your mind. I don't oh, have a no. band, Si. We you can't... don't have... I'll take care of the music. All you got to do is get the rides, okay? The House of Mirrors. Chili Dog. Hey, Chili Dog. Photo Corn booth. dogs, okay? Gotcha. And for baby sister over here, he wants to have the photo booth. Here's how big I want this party. We got astronauts that are fixing some equipment in outer space. I want them to look down and say, I'm bored to death up here fixing this stupid satellite. I wish I was down there at Uncle Si's party. That's where it's at. So si, we'll try to plan you some sort of party. I don't know if we can go that far, but we'll try to get something. Dancing, okay. music, fun. Okay. All right, we'll a see. real party, not just a piece of cake. And thanks a lot. For I was the just memories. gonna get you a nice gift. Thank you for your gifts, okay? Hey, look, I need to take this chair with me. No, you can't have the chair. That's company look. property. Company for property. It's not in quotes, it is company. Yeah, it is. You don't need hey, air quotes I've been that. working in this thing for 40 years in this sweatshop. No, you technically you just hey. sat in it. You uh, haven't been working in it. This place really does stink. So I'm right. glad I'm retiring. That chair stinks. Well, I have it clean. Huh. Don't worry, I'll get you something. It'll be way nicer than that chair, okay? I doubt that. I ain't gonna actually get up on stage and sing, take this 
job and shove it. Cause I ain't working here no more. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gone. So Sal wants us planning my retirement party. He's retiring. That'd be fun. He asked for a party. Yeah, well, <laughs> he asked for a big party. He I said we party. would have a, you know, cookie cake in the conference room. No, he we're gonna he said have he wanted a, a blowout, a shindig, or a bing bong or something. What's a bing bong? I, I couldn't. That'd be fun. I think that would be. Fun. I think it would be yeah. fun too. Yeah. And he, how long has he worked for the company? I mean, we should throw him Work? a big party. Probably a year, but he's been there, <laughs> twenty-five. <laughs> I want to give Sai a really good retirement party. See, that's where I differ. Really? I mean, the last five years has been a retirement party for him. <laughs> okay, but he is retiring, and that's a big deal. You've got to admit, it'll be a little bit less exciting without Sai around, won't it? It'll mostly just be quieter. He said he's got the music, so... Well, he can't do the music for his own party. Wait, he's singing? He's singing. That's interesting. Well... When you retire, we'll get Cy and his band to play at your party. I think by the time I retire, it'll be the memory of Cy's band. I don't think any of them will be alive. <laughs> he ain't Mick Jagger. Yeah. So we need something to go with the music. Do y'all have any yeah. ideas? We can make some t-shirts. I kind of like the t-shirt idea. Kind of like when you have like for a reunion or yeah, something. Yeah, and then like, we can I mean, always... You have your t-shirt yeah. and it's like commemorative. Mm -hmm. Wait. That's good. Mm -hmm. Is he moving to Nashville? Oh, he didn't say that. Maybe y'all could get a yeah. duplex together. Me and Sa <laughs> are not going to Nashville together. <laughs> I'm married to Nashville as a single lady. Yeah, I do not need my crazy single uncle ladies. Sai rooming with me. Sai retiring is not the only big thing happening in our family. Sadie is moving to Nashville. It's going to be kind of quiet around the house without her it there. It is. We'll only have three kids at home. I know. That's weird. It's a lot of kids. <laughs> Ooh. I got Sadie, a little going away what present. Yes. Hmm. How about that, huh? Oh, wow. Dad. <laughs> Ooh. How about wow. a solid go like that? Watch. Wow. Wait, wow. Did you really get me this? You can tool that around Nashville. I think it might be a man's watch, really. That is. It's a little bit sad seeing our kids leave home, but they all come back eventually. It's like an eagle returning to its nest. It's nothing like an eagle return to it. What about ducks? Do they come back to their nest eventually? They get shot. Why does it say, SR, hey, I'm retired? It's like, Sadie Robertson, hi, hey, you retired. You're going to Nashville. So does I not want to go to watch? He, oh. he didn't like the idea. Well, thanks, Dad. All right, you're welcome. I should not have gotten it engraved. So I think we should have a roast at Sai's party. Like, we got, everybody's cooking a roast, or? No, nah, like we're making fun of him. Well, he said he's doing the music, so I figure we better have some sort of entertainment. After giving it some thought, a comedy roast is the perfect way to celebrate Sai at his retirement party. Well, they've been roasting old Sai for about 50 years. Yeah. Well, it's not real hard to figure out some way to make fun of Sai. He pretty much does that on his own. Ridiculing one another is a Robertson family tradition. So I think my family members are really gonna have some fun with this. Maybe too much fun. And I got him a watch, and I've already re-gifted that. I tried to pawn it off to Sadie. I told you it was a bad idea. Well, what in the world would he want? You know what we ought to give him? What? I'll get him a pair of beaver underwear. Like a diaper, or would you, like, yeah. buckle He's it or something? He's getting at the age where he might need a diaper. Think jockey strap for the water. It may get old Christine all fired up. Here we go. Well, I don't know. I think that ship has sailed. You think it's going to take more than beaver underwear? Couldn't hurt. Oh, boy. Well, he's been grabbing for the last 25 years about that old duck call, that old cut-out magnum. Oh, I know. I know. He won't shut up about it. Sai's favorite call that we ever made was called the cut-down. Unfortunately, the call is no longer in production. That's a good idea if that's what he wants. Actually, would kill more ducks when he didn't have a duck call. Well, that's true. But, you know, save it for the roast. Problem is, the mold broke, and to fix it, we're going to have to go to Mississippi. That's where all our molds are for our plastic duck calls. We'd have to go over there to the mold place, resurrect a whole mold. 
That's gonna cost more than a gold watch, yeah, Will. Well, it ain't cheap, but well, you... but if we could sell them, yeah. Oh, you'll well, sell, yeah, them. You sell them. We need a new car. Put down there, Cy Slayer, you know, get them while they last, whatever. Yeah, and then we could, like, give Cy the first one. Oh, yeah. Off the new mold. Can y'all go tomorrow? You're paying me. I'll go wherever well, you want to. Yeah, whatever you think. Maybe you give me a little overtime, you know. Oh, boy. Mileage. <laughs> Quit doing that. You run into a wall. <laughs> Literally. I guess y'all wonder why I brought you out here. Try to figure out where we're going to lunch. No, we ain't going to lunch. You brought us here because you're old and you have bad judgment. No. Lunch? No, not lunch. Because you needed something to do. No. Lunch? Look, you guys need to focus, all right? I got two days left. And then, hey, all this knowledge I've got is gone forever. So we're not going to lunch? No, we ain't going to lunch. All right, fine. Show us your knowledge. I can just show it to you better. Oh, look, he just asked you to show I mean, it, not to tell I hate to break it, it to you, but when I think of knowledge, hey, I don't think of you. Knowledge. Look, as you get older, OK, <clears throat> you need to share the wisdom you've gained with the younger generation, OK? It's called praying it forward. Check this out. What, right, Nora? All right. huh. How many ply is this? Four ply. It's like a cloud, man. Some of you may think it's weird that I've got a secret vault of, you know, toilet paper at work. Well, hey, you ever wipe your behind with steak knives? If there's one area that I'm concerned about or I'm gonna take care of, it's gonna be my behind. It smells good. It does. Send it. What are y'all doing? Oh, we're just checking out some toilet paper here. Yeah, I don't think I even want to know. <laughs> you want to borrow some? <laughs> no, I, thanks. What's next, huh? I saved the best for life. I knew it. That sucker bought us lunch. Yeah. OK. The grand finale, huh? Right, the grand finale. It's the last one, boys. This better be good. Well, what do you see behind me? Boxes? That's what I thought. What? What in the <laughs> world is that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at that. He gone. OK, boys. And let the nap begin. <laughs> <laughs> this hidden nap fort takes things to a whole new level. It's like size bat cave. But instead of using it to fight crime, he uses it to fight drowsiness. Hey, look here. Nightlight, cooler, bed. Got oh, a picture of a cat hey, in there. No, that ain't just a cat. That's sweet peas. I'm my compadre. I can't wait to use this thing for myself. Although I'm not going to drink out of the iced tea jug in there because who knows how clean that is. Are you missing a urinal? Actually, is that even iced tea? Hey, there's my nap for it, boys. So you came in on your off days to build something to avoid working. Yeah. That seems kind of ridiculous. That's from the man that don't have himself a nap for it. Now, I will fumigate it, but... Yeah, I bet you better get a different mattress. Oh, no. That ain't probably no got a mattress. Stain, hey, you know? Come see, please. The mattress is fine, boys. I ain't built for no back seat. Oh. That's the initial idea of that cut out magnum. It is hot back there. Was to get air to key to turn the air on. inside the plastic so the resonance would be greater. If you put ice cream in a cup and it swirls up three inches above the lip of the cup. Hey, let's get some ice cream. When that ice cream melts, you don't have but a half a cup of fluid. The reason it stood up is it had air in it. Seriously, if you see ice cream, let's stop. Well, he wasn't talking about ice cream. Well, he either. said ice cream. He said. But he's talking about we're taking liquid and we're creating a solid, like a smoothie. When it comes to the technical aspects of making duck calls, Willie is clueless. Oh. But he is paying for this thing, and he usually buys lunch. So he's along for the ride. The key to stop and get some ice cream? No, I, we're not getting ice cream. Is there ice cream there? Riding along with my dad and Willie kind of brings back memories of when we were kids. And I feel the same way now that I did then. Maybe if we could get Willie in a car seat, it would help him calm down and be quiet. Do they have car seats in husky sizes? Surely they do.
There it is. How long have you been here, Phil? Forty years. All right, Willie, you might ought to let us do the talking here. Just have your checkbook ready. You think they got ice cream in here? the plan. The loading dock is the stage, and so everything works off of that, which means, yep. Yeah. That cannot stay there. What is that? It's a photo booth. What's well, part of it? Well, it's not really a booth, but... Well, I'm not finished. OK. It needs to just, like, move a little bit, because that's the stage, and you're pretty much, like, blocking the stage at this point. So right. it's got to go that way. But most parties nowadays, like, the photo booth is, like, the best thing. Well, but you don't want it to block anybody. Yeah, but I have props. I mean, it's going to be awesome. Mm. You know, the main part's going to be the band and the, you know, entertainment. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. Maybe, like, over there, kind of close to where the dumpsters are? Do you guys have, like, a thing against photo booths? No, I love huh? photo booths. OK. Just, I just making sure. Yeah, it's just, the, yeah. yeah. My photo booth. I'm going to put it where I want to put it. All right, so, so yeah. nice let's just set up all the tables and oh. then, oh, yeah. um, Set up the chairs, and then I think we'll wait till tomorrow to put like tablecloth oh. on. And Jeff, otherwise. are you? I just broke it. Uh oh. I think it's fine. You need some help? Oh, I got it. Okay. Haters keep, gonna hate. Keep going. A little more. Stop and get you some haterade. These guys just don't understand what makes a party a party nowadays. If your photo booth, you'd want it where you're right in the center. My photo booth, put it over here in the corner. Nobody puts a chip in the corner. The electric slide, out. The Macarena, out. Photo booths, in. Ah! Uh oh, oh no. Ah! Oh. Oh, oh yeah. OK, he's got it. Not only does it provide tons of awesome fun, but in a few years, Cy's going to need these pictures to remember that his party even happened. Let's just start putting chairs out. We'll Mom. get the guys. We'll do tablecloths. <laughs> Si. Si Robertson, si? you are not supposed to what be here. What are you doing here? What do you mean I ain't supposed to be here? It's your party. Look, I know, but I got worried, though. Got worried about what? Where's my backup band and me going to sing from? The loading dock. No, no, no. You got to understand something. The guys that are coming to back me up, let's see how to put this, well-known would be an understatement. You OK, got... and this would be rude to them. OK, to You've ask got... them to play from a loading dock. We ain't cargo. They got to have a stage. Well, look, that's that's a big stage. No. Hey, I tell you what, I know Willie just bought that field. We can put a big stage out there. Look, put flamethrowers on each side of the stage. They will shoot flames like 100 feet in the air while we're singing. Then the proud technical guys can set up the fireworks behind it, and they'll blow up everything around here. It'll be great. Wow. We weren't really planning on flamethrowers. Yeah, but we yeah. have a photo booth that's well, going to no. be cool. No. Look, they just don't understand what's going on here. I've got some top-notch musicians coming in here, OK? You need to go. We've got it. All right. All I'm, right. I'm going to get out of y'all's hair. Bye. Thank me. Think it big. Look, this stage is an insultment, OK? That's an insult and an embarrassment. So I guess Not we're... think big, think colossal. Colossal? Colossal. OK, this place has got to look pro-amazing, OK? That's professional and amazing together, OK? OK, so Shoot I guess... for the stars. Shoot for the stars, OK. OK. Forget everything we just talked about. We're going to put the stage right there. So we have to move all this. Yeah. And the photo booth. Who's going to tell Jeff? Phil, it's been a while since you've been in there. Been a hey, while. Yes. What's going on? Cam, how you doing? I ain't seen y'all in a while. Good it's good to I see you. Last time hey. I saw you, you were a young buck. Yeah, that was a while hey, back. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> old Bill it was a lot younger than he is now, too. Yeah, tell us about that, old man. <laughs> you hadn't been here in forever. Well, the first time I rolled in here, y'all's receptionist, she said, the soup kitchen, sir, is right on down the road. I'm like, <laughs> the first time you walked in, you yeah, That's how it started. We're trying to get this cut out magnum. If we get it back working, we'll put it back into production, and then we're going to give Cy the first one. 
Well, we brought our money man there. Hey, what's Who up, guys? How you doing? Who's Who is it? Hey, I'm Willie. Nice Willie? to see you. Oh. So you actually brought him over here for a yeah. chance. That's why he's hiding in the back. He's waiting on what's it cost here. <laughs> so did we talk about how much it would cost? Or yeah. We'll send you a bill later. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go make yeah. some shots. Let's make some shots, and we'll, right. we'll be here. When I went over there to talk to him about this latest mold, I had not been there in probably 25 years, maybe 30, so it was kind of like a walk down memory lane. Are those the duck calls? Yeah, yeah. these are bringing oh, back yeah. memories. Oh, that's some of your Bill, old. Bill, for 40 years, we've made a lot of different calls. Haven't we, though? I saw some of our old original duck calls on the wall, you know? First thing that crosses my mind looking around is, boy, we've come a long way. <laughs> a long way. I remember putting that one together. You remember this, Phil? I remember it. The most copied duck call in the world. Some super glue and a band saw, and I put that configuration together. I came up with the first Mallard Drake call ever, first pintail witch and teal call, first gadwall call, first wood duck call. Yeah, I can remember when Phil called me and told me about it. He's got us a call that we're going to have to make, and I made it out of a little child's whistle. Yeah. I said, are you joking, Phil? On Christmas nope. Day, I remember that. Yep. I remember. When everyone else was doing whatever they're doing, I was out there in that old shed of mine trying to get that sound just right. It was a chore, but I stayed the course. Remember we did this for breast cancer awareness? Yep. Maybe you would, Duck. Saw a few of those. Size retiring, so it's the end of a long era, but it's in good hand with old Willie Boy and Jace. They know what they're doing. Yeah. There he goes. You need to leave that to the experts. All right, Jace, I got a couple of shots to All try right. out. What's up with this color? That's a sample color. Is that cheaper? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Crank down on it, Jace. <laughs> that is as sweet and tender as a mother's love. <laughs> Willie? Pay the man. The cut down Magnum has been resurrected. We probably lost. won't sell a whole lot. That's why we need to negotiate on the price. But good work, boys. You did good. Well, I'll call right, you later. Yeah, these Mississippi boys we'll don't sell around sell on price. Okay. Oh, good, you, man. good, good job, man. All right, all right. fifteen hundred. Is that what we said? Yeah, fifteen hundred. <laughs> Twelve hundred. I'll no, call you no, later. Fifteen. See we'll you we'll later. We'll split the difference somewhere. I'll right, be good. It's a all marathon, not a sprint. I'll be good. All right, let's get some ice cream. I was never gonna know what hit him. I know. I don't think we're gonna know what hit us once he starts singing. They don't even need the amplifiers. I mean, no, you can hear him all over the church no building when he's singing. Yeah. He the sing. one skill he possesses is volume. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh -oh. Si. Here we go. Si, we got your little ship dig. Surprise! Look at here. Oh, man. Oh, Here's your like it. Well, look, if I'm the guest owner of this thing, let's get the party going. <laughs> we're not go. doing the music. We're going to have a oh. little roast first. What are we doing, roasting a pig? No, we <laughs> kind of, but like a super skinny pig. Oh, y'all are roasting. Hey, yeah, OK. <laughs> This ought to be good. You'll, you'll have a chance okay, to Okay, this like, ought to be good. Yeah. Of course it's going to yes, be good. It's just a tradition. It's all in oh. good fun, Si. Yeah, hey, talking about fun, who, who made the t-shirts? Well, Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. Well, well, hey, normally, when I say the word hey, I spell it H-E-Y, unless I'm driving down the road and I look out there in the field and I said, hey, then I'm talking about a bale of hay. English is not Rebecca's first language. Well, hey, it ain't mine either. Hey. Hey. All right, guys, if everybody can take their right. seats, you guys come out to the stage. Look, the gloves are off, buddy. Hey, go ahead. The gloves are off. Oh, no, the gloves are off. So I want to welcome everybody to the Uncle Si Retirement Roast. <laughs> you know, you have called us um, idiots, morons, dingleberries, maggots, even whiskey barrel. Oh, I wonder who that was. So be. now is our time to tell you what we think of you as well. <laughs> Let the roast begin. I'm not sure what I'm more relieved about, the fact that Si is finally retiring from Duck Commander, or the fact that this party may actually measure up to his insanely high standards. Lucky for us, we have the perfect thing to kick this party off and keep his ego in check. Willie Robertson. 
Unlucky for Sai, it's a roast and he's the target. Now this is gonna be fun. So Sai's retiring. I'm not gonna be able to get away from Sai though. Because every time I go to the dentist, there's a photo of his teeth up on the wall. It says, this is what happens when everything goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Si was a good student in school. He told me that the eighth grade was some of the finest three years of his life. <laughs> <laughs> he is at an age where he can no longer trust his farts. <laughs> but the good news is, he went and had a colonoscopy and they found his head. <laughs> Cy is so old that I told him to act his age, and he died. <laughs> Christine told him the other day, you want to run upstairs and make love? And he said, hey, pick one, because I can't do both. <laughs> Yo, know, most of the time, if a guy's being roasted, he gets to rebuttal against the guy that's been roasted him. Most people know that Sai is an avid hunter. Most ducks do not. Oh. These knuckleheads over here wouldn't even be able to take the heat that I bring y'all here. When God made Sai, he broke the mold. Amen. That's right. And God said, I'm never going to make another one like that. <laughs> That'll be like Al, OK? You know, I congratulate on all the weight he's lost. Hey, right, look, and then congratulate Willie for finding it. He'd be in tears. Tea manufacturers have offered sign endorsement deals to stop saying there's tea in his cups. Consumers are concerned it leads to hunchback, bad teeth, and chronic mispronunciation of words. <laughs> Burn! Like Willie, for example. He wants to be known as Boss Hog. That means Corey would be Miss Piggy. You know, she would be very upset to be called Miss Piggy. I'm gonna be the bigger man. I'm not gonna say anything about any of that. She needs a chair. If I have to stand on my tiptoes this whole time, this have is Have you not thought right. about lowering the mic? No, I didn't know how to do that. I, I'm not technological. <laughs> <laughs> technological. Yes, you are. Okay. Some people say size hairstyle is unique because more of it comes out of his nostrils <laughs> than his head. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> drop the mic. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> and now to the good stuff about Sa. Si. He's the closest thing to a brother I'll ever have. And he has been one of the best men I've ever known. I've never met a more decent man than Silas Robertson. Not one. Love this family, love everybody in it. I'm glad that we can laugh at ourselves, and uh, I think Sai helped teach us that. Sai has served our country, and he makes life fun. So I love you, Sai. He has been a rock that's been in our lives. I love him, and I always will, and his family. All right. Woo. Woo. All right, Sai. Woo. Appreciate it. Woo. All right, look, folks, now that we got the stupid roast business out of the way, we'll get to the entertainment part of this thing. So how long is it going to take? They'll be here any second. All right, just settle down, because I ain't no thing a cappella. We're all sitting in the sun. We're ready to be entertained. They probably had to wait for the train. Are they taking a train, or are they taking a bus? They're coming in buses. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's yeah. a big bus. Oh, it's a bus. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. Any time now. Look who we got here. Yeah! Y'all welcome ZZ Top. Are you kidding me? So I got ZZ Top to be his backup band. And here I thought he was going to show up with some random honky tonkers. Not one of the greatest bands of all time. What's happening, my brother? How's it going? Hey, hey. going How's good, it going, man? man. Hey. Yeah. Even with Sai singing, this is going to be awesome. 
The only downside now is that we don't really need the 100 pairs of earplugs I brought. I'm not a professional. I got to get the lyrics. That ain't going to do you any good. Could I borrow them? I don't think you need them. <laughs> oh, and that I'll probably be getting a very expensive bill. I'm going to have to postpone my retirement 10 years just to pay for all this. Boy, Freebird! Godwin wants to hear Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we wait for, to go out and say, play some Scanners. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK. All right, here we go. One, two, come on, side. One, two, two three, three. Oh. Say you're actually on key. Look, even a blind hog finds a taker every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> to be on stage with y'all and actually get to sing with you, it's exactly. a it was blast. It was actually pretty good. Right. So y'all were great. Bad. Guys, oh, yeah. appreciate it. Thank yeah. you again. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, sir. I didn't you even did know y'all were coming. Yeah, man. Excellent. We're all yeah. right. Yeah. The guitar yeah. picking was good, and the singing wasn't not too bad. Yeah, well, yeah, you got at least your own key there. Well, yeah, you got hey, your beard actually matches. Well, they probably washed theirs. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't do nothing to mine. You don't yeah. even wash it? No. This is El Naturel, son. Frank would probably have one, but his last name's Beard. So Yeah, your last name is Beard. He, he, he don't yeah, have he's in there, beard, you know. Correct. Okay. Well he don't need one in. He's he, got the last name. What's your now, excuse? Frank and I, Frank and I think that some faces look too good to cover up. That's why I grew my beard in the first place. I couldn't keep the women off, so there you I go. got hey, the there you, you got there the you same. Got the hey, you got the same right problem I got. Yeah, well, I, yeah, that's yeah, comforting. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look here. Hey. Yeah. Well, sir, so look. We don't you, bring out no stupid watch. Look at what it's we not got. A watch. You remember your favorite call? Yeah. The old cut down magnum? That's the old cut down magnum. Yeah, it's back. Look, we give each other a hard time a lot of the times, you know, well, all the time. But look, it really means a lot that Phil, Jace, and Willie went to this trouble to bring this duck call back, and then that's what you gave me, is the first one that y'all made. So it's really special. The yeah, resurrected cut-down magnum. I, okay. thought it, I thought it'd give you incentive to stay alive. I really feel lucky that I was actually a part of this company for all these years. And for the record, hey, it's way better than any stupid gold watch you could have come up with. Y'all ready to eat? Let's, huh, eat. let's sure. go eat. Yeah, I am, but I know you are. <laughs> so the roast is over. No, the roast just begins, son. We fix to eat. All right, let's bow. Father, we thank you for this good food. We're not taking it for granted how much you have blessed us. You offered it to us free of charge, and all you ask of us is to love you and to love our neighbor. In the name of Jesus, I pray, who made all these things possible, amen. 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 Right, boy, let's dig right. in. 
They say all good things must come to an end, but the truth is they never really come to an end because you always have the memories of what made them good in the first place. Sometimes those good things can even reinvent themselves and turn into other good things, like a classic duck call brought back into production, or Uncle Si launching a music career in his late 60s. Okay, maybe that's not a good thing for anyone's ears, but you get my point. This may be the end of an era, but it's also the beginning of a new chapter, one that will bless us with more good things, good people, and good memories. And for that, we are thankful. Actually, does this really have to come to an end? I mean, if I keep talking, they won't cut me off, right? And I can talk for a long time. So I guess we'll find out if they can cut me. All right, boys, he's gone for good this time. That's a wrap, Jack. <laughs>